benevolent pharaoh, you have brought peace and prosperity to our nation. Under your wise and capable rule, Egypt is a strong and glorious country once again. All nomarchs are loyal to you, and no threats to our great nation remain. Having accomplished all your family set out to do so many years ago, it is time to memorialize the achievements of your great dynasty. The only way to accomplish this is to build the grandest pyramid Egypt has ever known. A pyramid even larger than that of Khufu at Grosja. Others in your noble family have sacrificed much on the long road leading to your rule of Egypt. They too must be remembered and honored with a sandstone mausoleum to acknowledge their unwavering support. The ideal location for these monuments is Hetep Senusret in the rich Fayum region. From there, you can attend to all the affairs of state and respond to any requests for supplies that your cities may ask of you as you build your great pyramid. Guys, welcome back to Pharaoh, and we are here on the final mission, which is misspelled in the briefing window. It's called Hetep Senusret, but there's an extra S here. <laughs> the glory of Pharaoh. Population one, oh, 12,000, prosperity 80, kingdom 75, culture 80, monument of 70, and we are continuing on maximum difficulty of very hard. Let's go ahead and go to the city. Slow the game down, pause the game and see what we're actually dealing with. Now, just as a note, I did actually start this Pharaoh series in 2012 and it's been six years and I'm finally here on the final mission, not counting Cleopatra. So, looking at this map, we've got some birds, we've got some papyrus, uh, a bit more birds and papyrus over there, lots of open land. Now, this is technically a peaceful mission. And we've got lots of trees, but I don't know if that's a resource yet. And a decent amount of farmland here on the right side. Now, let's have a quick look at our raw materials. Woodcutter, clay pit, reed gatherer. Okay, so uh, can we do hunting as well? No, we can't do hunting. The birds are decorative. <laughs> okay, let's go to the world map and see what we're dealing with. None of these are trade routes, are they? There's us, Hetep Senusret. You can see there's no S there. Um, trade routes, trade routes. Dakla Oasis, they buy linen, jewelry, papyrus. Okay, so we can sell two coins of papyrus there, and it's a land trade route. How about Baki buys nothing? Okay. We can't make jewelry. We could make jewelry if we could buy... Okay, so we can import gems and sell luxury goods. This is a, also a land trade route, interestingly enough. We're on the river, but Baki is a land trade route. So, okay. That means we could, uh, well, we probably should get the papyrus industry going straight away. Uh, we only start with 1,500 Theban. Uh, wait, there are hunting, oh wait. Oh, right, of course, there are hunting lodges. I, I totally missaw that. <laughs> there are hunting, the, the birds are not decorative. I accidentally clicked farm and then saw grain and I got confused. No, 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 there are hunting lodges and fishing wharfs, actually. So there are fish. Okay, so we can get grain, hunting, and fish, but hunting, you know, you don't really want to mix up hunting too much. Is that hunting over here? I don't see any... Let's, let's wait for things to spawn in. I'm, I'm seeing... Oh, there are hippos here. Okay. So, birds... Hunting here. Fishing. I don't know if there's any fish down this side of the river. Huh. Right. So, there's only... Is that... Is that only fish on the right side? Now I'm, tr I'm just considering how to get three types of food and if there's no fish on this western river, getting the, the game meat and the fish together for a luxury palace block might be a little tricky, you know? Because I could very easily just uh, do a water crossing bridge here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. We need to get exports going first and foremost. So here's Papyrus. I'm gonna try work out some kind of basic block to get things going, you know. Let's just, uh... You know, I'm just gonna use this existing road. There's plenty of, of road to do other things. Yeah, just gonna do a row of houses, and then we're gonna get a Papyrus industry going along this road and set up probably a more... Uh, sort of basic housing block over on this side. 
There is farmland here, so two types of food, easy access here. Fishing, it's just gonna be a little bit far, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, so Papyrus, we're gonna get that going straight away and see if we can make enough money to not go completely bankrupt. And we're already out of money. Just doing something really basic like this, and I guess we just go immediately into debt, right? There's no choice. I need a storage yard, and I'm gonna put that down, and that was... Oh, that was employees needed, okay. And we're in debt. Any rescue funds? Uh, they spared everything. Okay, okay. They gave us 2,200. That's a little bit better. Now let's accept none here, and just accept the papyrus. And I don't know exactly how many papyrus makers we can support here, but we're just gonna add papyrus makers until uh, the reed gatherers uh, can't supply everything. So we're gonna start with four first. Uh, let us set some infrastructure priority and health and sanitation and religion in case we need that. And we'll leave the rest as is. We need to bring in as many people as possible. So I'm just gonna increase the amount of housing here. Can I go up to there? I think I can. Yeah, I'm gonna do that just to bring in more people. And to make sure the gods don't get unhappy, I'm gonna do a shrine to each. So Osiris, we don't want curses at all because that's gonna ruin everything. So Osiris, Ra, Ptah, and Bast. So we've got four gods on this mission now. We've already spent another thousand. We need to get this papyrus going. Ugh, and please send out a water carrier. Okay, water carrier is going out, evolving these houses. Does he walk just far enough? He walks just far enough. Okay, how about fire and damage? They do go the full distance. Fantastic. This is actually going to look really nice. Um, but uh, how about our population? We are short by 45 employees. This should be enough to bring in 45 people. So let's just wait for Papyrus to come in, right? Because there's, there's not much else we can do. Um, as we get more people, we add in more Papyrus makers. And this is the main supply of Papyrus, uh, or reeds rather. So hopefully those hippos don't go on a rampage. But yeah, I didn't want to build any roads or anything because I'm just trying to save as much money as possible. Now water is being supplied nicely. Reeds are finally going into the Papyrus makers. And this should actually go really well. Now, looking at this other trade, selling gems. If I check prices here, is it actually worth it? Always check prices, as I learned. Now, Papyrus is gonna sell for 165 each. Gems, uh, where's, where's gems? Buyers pay 120. Luxury goods sell for 150. Okay, you make a 30 demon profit. That is not worth it at all. So no point importing gems to sell luxury goods. It's ju it's just not going to be worth it. Anyway, this looks to be... Uh... Which one filled up first? Okay, looking at... We can do some math. So the first papyrus maker is at 13%. So uh, it's not fully employed. So we could assume 20. So... Two reed gatherers, which are fully employed. Got that to, let's say, 20% if it was fully employed. So we need to... Triple? The number of papyrus makers? I think? I mean, we can support a lot here, I think. Right, because these are already, yeah, they're already doubling up and it's at 30%. Are they fully employed? They are fully employed. We are still shot by a few people, but I think this is gonna be quite good, actually. Uh, we could support a lot of papyrus makers. If we get a nice stock of papyrus, open the trade route to go into debt, and then, uh, which reminds me, let's just drop taxes to zero first. And I'll leave wages as is, just to make sure people are happy. Uh, is water doing okay? Fire doing okay? Crime doing okay? Damage doing okay? So this road is actually working out very nicely. All right, so now let's just wait for a stock of papyrus and then we will uh, get things going, yeah? Okay, so some papyrus has come in now and we're just adding more papyrus workshops here and it seems like we can uh, keep things 
going quite a bit. A lot of these still have 200 units, uh, and we're sort of getting to the point. I might need one, maybe two more Papyrus Makers, but we've got a stock of Papyrus, so we're gonna go to the map of the world, Dakla Oasis, open this trade route, visit Overseer, go to Papyrus, export everything we've got, and hopefully we make our money back soon. We're in debt now, yep. And I think we just spend any extra money on more papyrus makers, I think. And wait for the trade caravans, because we can't really do much else besides that. By the way, we also did just get an apothecary and physician to make sure things don't go down too bad. It's the trader's life for me. All right, now, there's at least eight units there. How many traders come through? Is it two or three? Because they can buy eight units each. Ah, oh, there we go. Selling some lovely papyrus. Oh, we actually are selling everything we've got here. Is it just two traders? It is just two traders, okay. So, that gives us an okay amount of money, allowing us to do certain things. Now, I just want to make sure, before I expand anymore, we have seven unemployed workforce, so can I support more papyrus makers? Are all of these at 100 units? Some are still at 200. This one doesn't have any. Okay, so I just gotta make sure that we are maximizing our papyrus production here. Uh, how much can we sell again? 2,500 units a year? You know, this is probably fine. I think this can produce 2,500 a year. If we need more, I'll expand it later. So now, floods are down. We can start considering setting up another industry. So, we could very much have a nice little housing block here. It can produce its own papyrus. Uh, what other woodcutter, clay pit, reed gatherer? Farmland will be here. Oh, there's fish right there. Yes, okay. It's hard to spot fish all the time, but there is fish right there. So this western side is the best candidate for... Um, for... 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 Uh, the luxury housing, this western side. So what other things do we need? Monuments, Muslim, Grand Mud... It's, it's one of these. It's this massive thing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll need some space to put those somewhere. But for now, I just want to put a nice, simple housing block. Nothing too complex. Maybe get some farming going. Is there a way to get a road through here? There is. You know, uh, maybe I don't need to do a housing block quite yet. Maybe I just try evolve these houses. So, if I can get a road coming through here. Let's slow the game down. Let's bring in a few more people, I think, uh, which we can just do that, yeah. And then I could have a work camp set up right here, road blocked right there, and we can start getting some grain in. Right? That, that makes sense. And we're just gonna get a little bit of grain here. How do I wanna position this? Like that, like that. Now I don't know how many of these we need, but I'm gonna get six. And just have that road hook up like that. Yep. We don't need that. We can shorten that by one. And we can irrigate this while we're at it. Okay, let's speed the game up. This will get some stuff going, and then we can put the... Is that employees needed? Yeah. So we're gonna then need a granary somewhere back here. Which we can just... Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have... the granary right here. And that does put me back into debt. That's fine. We should be able to make our money back in time. And I'm going to hook this road up like that and roadblock that. Okay. This is this this should work out fine. This should work out fine, right? <laughs> oh. Minat Kufu request 800 planks of wood in 12 months. Huh. Huh. Okay. That's uh that's uh, hmm, a little tricky. And how many people are we short by? 25 employees? 
Yeah, we 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 need some uh, maybe just a, a few beautifications here. Oh, the houses did evolve. Okay, so we just uh, okay. Please just buy some papyrus. <laughs> then we gotta figure out how to get wood going. Now trees. Is it only this right side, or is there anywhere more convenient? This bottom left side. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to cross the river. Ah, this is this is a little tricky, but I guess I'll have to do it. All right, so there we go. We've got a tiny little wood industry going here to satisfy that demand. I'm not sure if we're gonna hit it. Eight months to comply, 800 wood. We might need one more of these raw materials, wood cutter. Yeah, we're just gonna do that, and we are short by us. Uh, we are short by 35 people. I'm hoping for food to come in soon. When's the harvest season? Uh, next ones will come in August. It's currently May. Yeah, if we get some food in, we can actually feed some people, which would be good. And also, I put down one more shrine to Bastia because... Uh, uh, oh, where did all that money come from? Did traders just come by? Oh, traders are just about buying things. There we go. Are we maxed out? We are maxed out for this year of sales, so we're definitely producing enough papyrus here. Um, but basically that means there's no more exports for the rest of the year, so we got to be careful with what we do here. But I'm just gonna... Should I pre-prepare a bazaar here? Which is just gonna be set to buying grain, if nothing else. And also I want a storage yard here, set to accepting... Uh, let's see... Half of straw and half of grain. In case there's any requests and also there's extra storage for grain and set this to accepting none but getting all the grain you can. Okay, so I'd love to be able to feed this area and just to make sure... Uh, six months to comply for the 800... Six, can we get... Can we get enough? We've got 100 now. I don't know if we can get 800 wood in six months. Hopefully we can. Um... But also before I forget... Oh yeah, that's already done. Okay, so we just got this super basic setup here. Uh, there's a bit of extra room for people, which are coming on in here. We are currently short by 50 employees. Um, how are we... It is industry and commerce taking the hit. Uh, but really nothing else can, can take the hit right now. So hopefully when, you know, if these few people move in... Added a few more houses here. Any room left? No. Well, a little bit, a little bit. Just, ah, oh, come on, if all this grain comes in, we can feed the people and then get things going. Hmm. But we do have a the work camp as well, so I probably should think about putting down the monuments. Now, this bottom corner is probably the, the toughest part to... Uh, to get things going. Uh, this food's gonna come in. Yeah, so this food's gonna come in and then we'll, we'll get the monument sort of at least place so this work camp will always have something to do. All right, well, there we go. To honor the glory of Egypt, Menat Khufu requests that you send 500 Deban, six months to comply. <laughs> okay, um, so they're gonna be asking for money. Also, our wood supply is sort of... it's at 600, 700. How much time do we have here? Uh, three months? Okay, so we can send off that money, first of all, and we'll be sending off the wood soon enough. And also, I've demarcated the the positions for all the monuments that I want, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them all down now. The Grand Mud Brick Pyramid will go right here. It's huge. It's huge. We're gonna put the Large Mud Brick Pyramid right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the mausoleum, which is like, oh, oh, it's facing this way. If I press R, it doesn't rotate. It's not like a statue, but a little bit of a trick. You rotate the map and the mausoleum rotates with you. And that's gonna go there, which requires 240 blocks of sandstone, which we don't have right now. Uh, <laughs> but that's where it's gonna be going. But we'll get these two pyramids started first. You can see I've got like a double road going there, single road going between here. It's all gonna look really, really nice. Now, these workers are gonna start s heading on over there to start digging that up. They're gonna take forever. Um, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. That gives them something to do. Now, where is this final distribution of wood? 
This place has 100 wood. Come on. Oh, is that? There we go. There we go. 800. Let's dispatch that. We actually made it. Whew. I was worried we weren't going to make that. But uh, now we're kind of out of money for the year because we're, we're making way too much papyrus. Um... So, oh, we also are feeding the people. I forgot, we actually got some food in. What do these guys need now? No access to local religious facilities. All right, temple to bust it is. How do I make this somewhat efficient? You know, it doesn't really have to be efficient. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be evolving this block, but. You know, no, it's fine, it's fine. You go right there. All right, so we'll evolve these houses. That'll get us the workers we need. I'll... If after evolving these houses, we are still short on workers, you know, actually, we probably should just get rid of one of those. It's fine. How much does this take? 12 employees each? Yeah. Uh, if I clear off some of these papyrus makers, we will actually just do better. We don't need to make this much papyrus. It's almost the next year, which means we'll sell another... 2,500 units of papyrus, yeah? So we are maxed on exports right now. There's not really much else we could do. Um, linen, we can't grow flax. So yeah, th this is the most money we can get away with. I guess we just focus on trying to get these monuments going. <laughs> dug a little bit, dug a little tea there. Just dug up some of the grass. Ah. Uh. But yeah, um, let, let's get more food going for this next year. And I think I will just boost up our food production a tiny bit by adding on a couple more farms. There we go. Make sure they're irrigated. And uh, yeah, we should be able to feed. I think this first feeding is just about completing. Desirability is a bit of an issue. Here comes a trader, so we can go ahead and get ready to beautify a little bit on the back here. Just to get these houses evolved, yeah. There we go. There we go, looking good. And they now need entertainment, which... Uh... Yeah, I'll figure that out in a little bit. <laughs> Hey, would you look at that? Minat Khufu is now a trade route, which, uh, hold on, let me just put down this bandstand right there, which we should be able to get working with those houses there. We'll see if that works. It should, it should. I just extended this road a tiny bit, uh, but we will just go ahead and put a juggler school right there, and we could get some entertainment going now. Minat Khufu, what do you trade? It is a land trade route, and they buy bricks, but they sell barley. Plainstone and limestone. Okay. They buy bricks. We're gonna need a lot of bricks. But we also kind of, like, we can produce brickworks, raw material, clay pit. Oh, clay pits can't go there. Clay pits go down here. We've got a bit of a stock of straw there. Hmm. Well... I'll figure out how to start producing some bricks, but does this have access? Oh, it does have access to workers, fantastic. So uh, those four houses will just apply there. Now we're a little short on food and because I sent the 800 planks of wood, become more popular, okay. Oh, the gods are unhappy. 29% unemployment, jeez. <laughs> um, and also the gods are very unhappy. So I think I have to... Uh, get them on my side. Let's slow the game down and I'm just gonna go ahead and put down another shrine to everyone. Shrine to Osiris, shrine to Ra. Uh, how do I want to sort this out? Yeah, we could put shrines back here. Shrine to Ra, uh, shrine to Ptah, and shrine to Bast, which is our patron god. Yeah, sure. I'll use that space there. So another shrine to everyone, just to try and keep them happy. Uh, that's not looking so good, but okay. At least the juggler's gonna start coming on down here. I could probably get rid of a few houses, though. I could probably get rid of a few houses, clear off some space over there, make room for some services. There we go. These houses are now evolving up to ordinary cottages, uh, which then need pottery. Now, it is May, and last I checked by May... Oh, we haven't maxed out on sales quite yet. Oh, there's the trader. So this is gonna be the final sales of the year. So 2,600. 
kind of weakness, so 2700 ish. Okay. If that's the case, I'm going to need to get some clay going. Wrong materials. Clay picked. Let's get. We need clay for brickworks and for pottery. So I'm going to get four clay pits. Just get this sort of. Hold on, let me just check. Raw materials, clay pit, we can fit more there. Okay, so this can do that. Hook that up. Get some houses down. And we're gonna need to extend the road out this way. To do that, 1,000 people now live here. We're gonna need to have this road extend out like that. That looks... Actually, we probably should have the houses somewhere in the middle of this block and not there. Then we can have the... Firehouse... Architect's post. Police station. Apothecary. And physician. Okay, so we're going to get this block working with some clay pits so that we can have some uh, potters, which we can have just along this road here, I think. Four potters should do, and then some brickworks. And that should solve our employment issues as well. Now let's also roadblock right here to keep things going. And we can have the storage yard right here. Storing pottery and bricks, I guess, just to get that started. All right, so if we need anything, any pottery, if we need employees, we can evolve, but we definitely don't need that right now. Um, hmm, people are extremely pleased with me. 34, 155 employees. Okay. Once all these things start working, it should be fine. Well, we're going to put one right there. Okay. Patar destroys a storage yard. Oh, the one with wood in it? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, the one... Oh, okay, well... Hmm. Good thing we already sold the max of this, yeah? Oh, <laughs> uh, well... Hmm, it's fine. We are very much overproducing uh, papyrus. So let's just wait for that to go down. Now, this is what I hate about fires. Um, oh, I hate it when that happens. A fire breaks out and suddenly everything starts catching fire. Because all the firemen walk away from the houses. Can we can we prevent anything here? Please please get to that house. Okay. I hate that. I mean, do do firemen start walking? Okay, no. There there is a distance limit. Employees needed. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna get this uh, storage yard back for papyrus. It's August, September. We should be able to produce enough to max sales next year anyway. There we go. So everything will be back to normal now. It said we're short on employees now. No, no, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, so all of this should be working. Yeah, waiting for clay. Four to eight. Yes. Okay, this should be perfect. All right, so all of this is looking very good. Supply of food is back in. Jugglers doing okay using destination walker, so there's no worries about glitches or anything And yeah, everything should be fine. We're just low on money because we're trying to Increase things as much as possible, but there we go. Papyrus coming on back Okay, so uh, there's a request now for a thousand one hundred game meat in nine months So I'm setting up similar to the wood industry over here a little hunting industry for these birds Which will later on be a type of food for the palatial palaces and all of that palatial estates rather now These houses need to evolve more to bring in more people. So I'm gonna start buying pottery 
and it seems there's a bit of desirability issue. We are also in debt, but it just turned to January, so we're gonna start selling all this papyrus again. And is this... Uh, oh, we are actually a little short on reeds, is it? Oh, it's because... Um, it's because the reeds are now further away, so I guess... Uh, we might be able to knock down another papyrus maker, I guess, to make room for more employees. There we go, we're out of debt. Fantastically. Did we? If I were God, I'll be a hero oh, he's just passing through. Goods back to my homeland. Oh, he showed up before January. Okay, so only one trader worked there. But uh, we could do with... Uh, how are the gods feeling? Osiris is still really angry. They're all sort of really angry, actually. Um, so let's just get some shrines with the money we just earned. Osiris, Ra, and Ptah. Yes, yes, we're in debt, uh, but Osiris, Ra, and Ptah are the most upset, probably because they don't have a temple. An extra shrine each should get them a little bit happier. Some bricks are now coming in. If we want to open up this trade route, it'll cost 600 bricks. Let's make sure we earn our money back. Bricks sellers receive 120, so we need at least 500 bricks to make our money back. Okay. Now, do these have pots yet? Too little entertainment. Oh, we do need a conservatory then. So I guess we will now put down a conservatory. Right there. Yeah, I know city needs more workers, but evolving these houses will help solve that issue as well. Okay. Are bricks being distributed? Does a bazaar have... Not bricks, up uh, pottery. Yes? No? Yes. Then it's just desirability and entertainment? Okay, okay. So as the conservatory starts working, it'll evolve these houses. We can get some... Oh wow, this, this works a lot faster than I expected. So I guess we only need two of these. That's fine. These take six people each. Yeah, okay. That's gonna hold more people. So we should be able to stockpile that game meat really quickly, actually. Um, two hunting lodges should do at this distance. It should work really, really nice. Okay. Bricks, pottery... Yeah, are bricks still working? Oh, they're just short on labor, I see. I see. So once we have 500 bricks, we can open up the trade route and sell bricks because it'll immediately make our money back. Currently March, in debt, waiting for more papyrus sales. But there we go, we're starting to get some modest homesteads. They're evolving now up to spacious homesteads, which need beer. But these houses evolving should get us the people we need. And six months to comply for the game meet, which uh, we currently have almost enough, actually. So we'll be able to send it off pretty soon. Okay, so everything's looking nice and dandy here. We've got all these spacious homesteads needing beer. And um, do I even have a source of beer? Oh, we can import barley, but money is still sort of very limited. We've started getting bricks in and selling bricks to Menat Khufu. None this year, but we got some in storage. Is this... I'll be a yes. hero when I bring these goods back to my homeland. So we've upped the clay production. I've done a bit of a loop here. Put a roadblock there so the cart pushes with destinations you see cross right through there whereas the wandering walkers take the single road path for efficiency and stability and now it seems like we're producing enough clay to oh it's struggling to bring a bit of straw down this way but each harvest there was no flood this year by the way because i think all the gods are sort of unhappy but i kind of don't want to spend money quite yet I'm a little concerned about expanding. Meanwhile, these monuments, well, it's not really going anywhere, but we do have a full stock of wood, so I cut back on that uh, over there. We have a full stock of game meat, cut back on that over there. So overall, this is looking pretty good, right? The bazaar has food, has pottery. The houses have food, have pottery. So if money does stabilize, I could sort of try and figure out some kind of beer industry. Which might be appropriate. You know, maybe if I... I could just make room for it here if I cut back on the pottery and make room for beer. Leave a storage for the bricks as well so we can sell as much as possible. There we go. Okay, so we might be able to support a brick industry now. Um, but... I think we, we just gotta 
make sure we're stabilized and then focus on, I keep saying brick, I mean beer. We could import barley to turn into beer to evolve these houses further, but uh, I also want to start thinking about getting the luxury palaces going. So maybe I just go straight for those. But then I was looking, we don't have a source of linen or flax. Which means there's definitely more trade routes that will open up over time. We're, I'm just making sure we maximize exports for now. Okay, guys, we've got 3,200 Deben in the bank. We are now selling bricks for some extra cash. And I just had a look over here at these monuments. And if you right click them, it tells you how many bricks you need. And we need 264,000 plus. 67,200, so that's uh, 300 plus thousand bricks and uh, the mausoleum also, we need to get that going. So we basically need to make a ton of bricks. And looking at this, I'm gonna slow this down. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this into somewhat of a more efficient design. So I'm gonna put a house right there. And I'm actually gonna turn this into a kind of a loop and we can do that we're gonna clear off that road there and this road is gonna extend out like that so that we can then let's see uh, get raw materials clay pit and we're gonna boost up the amount of clay pits we have which i will be moving some of these around as well so that's a lot of clay pits that's a lot of clay pits with this setup, uh, oh, I do need to move those as well. So let's go ahead and move the firehouse, the architect's post. They can be pretty much anywhere. Um, the police station. Apothecary physician, yeah, okay. So we can clear that off and then put down another clay pit right there. And we're gonna be wanting, wanting to roadblock that and roadblock that, and then have this turn into a loop like that. And then we'll roadblock this. So we use this single house here to populate both of these sides. And then we're gonna need a few storage yards, or rather quite a few storage yards. So I can put the first one here to store all of the incoming straw. And I'm gonna turn off the straw accepting here and just let this fill with grain. Okay, then this I'm gonna turn off. Actually, uh, for now I'll leave the, the bricks storing there, but we're gonna need a bunch of storage yards here. How do I make this as efficient as possible? Yes, yeah, so we're gonna roadblock here, I think. Then we're gonna go storage yard and just make a ton of room for bricks and this is all going to be accepting just bricks we can speed the game up here as we wait for this to move in don't worry i haven't forgotten the firehouses and all of that let's get this all set up to accept bricks okay now we're gonna need that firehouse and that architect's post, and nothing else. Everything else should be fine, yep. So firehouse, architect's post, police station, apothecary, and physician are down here to look after those houses that do eventually move in. And I'm not sure if I want to just stabilize employment by doing that. Just have two houses, just to make sure. And that looks pretty good. This is gonna start bringing in a ton of clay. And by the way, how's our employment? 6% unemployment, 39 un unemployed workforce. Once all of these start working, that might be a little bit different. But here come those immigrants. And this is gonna start pushing up our... Oh, that works. So we can now turn this off to stop accepting bricks. This is just gonna fill with pottery and beer when we get it. And now we can start storing up a bunch of bricks really producing tons and tons of bricks which are gonna be used for all of this which we do need a lot so we might need a ton of storage space but uh yeah besides that i probably should start trying to evolve these houses i'm not too sure maybe i'll wait till next year when there are floods how are the gods feeling by the way they're all sort of displeased bast is a little resentful so i'm gonna go ahead and put down a shrine to bast somewhere just to keep bast happy 
could stick one right. A couple of shrines back here wouldn't hurt. Yeah. So it seems like we are actually overproducing pottery. And there is still a food supply, but I don't want to evolve the houses quite yet. Meanwhile, papyrus... We're actually maybe a little underproducing reeds. Yeah, I think I can actually get rid of one of those. Now that the reeds, you can see that they have to walk a lot farther to get them. So yeah, we don't need that many papyrus makers. We're totally overproducing anyway. These houses have started moving in, which means I can now delete those houses. And once all of these are functioning, let's just make sure they all turn on. Okay. How's our employment? We are now short by like a few people. Okay. So before we expand any more industries, we're going to need uh, to get more people into the city. Here's the grain harvest looking okay, but not so good. A few walker glitches here. Not sure where this guy's going. With the fields underwater, I work now for glory everlasting. Okay, he's gonna walk that way, I guess. And uh, these pyramids, they're just gonna take forever. So we probably should just skip ahead a bit more because we're probably gonna be looking at these pyramids for a long, long time. Ah, oh, would you look at that? A request for a thousand bricks. And uh, we should be able to do that. Do we actually already have... How many do we have right now? Oh, we actually have plenty. Let's dispatch that. Just as we're really starting to overproduce bricks. Look at that. So many bricks. Uh, I don't even know if we have enough straw to keep this going. But we have just increased farmland. And I've turned this into a loop. Look, look at how I've done this. So I've got this road as a loop. It does go through the bandstand now. Just so there are entertainment walkers going around. Um, and I've also roadblocked here. Put a house there. Got a firehouse and architect's post there. I'm not sure if we need more firehouses. I think two should be enough to, to keep an eye on this block here. Okay, and a couple extra farms just to make sure we do have enough food because we are going through a first feeding of a new row of houses. Now, as population goes up, the gods are going to start getting angry. Uh, I will probably... should probably start putting down shrines to everyone, but maybe temples to everyone instead. I don't know, let's... Let's just get some shrines going. It is a new year, so we should be able to get enough money to make up for this. I know it looks like we're in debt, but... It's the trader's life for me. We're gonna start selling some bricks, sell more papyrus, because it's April and we haven't sold any bricks and... Or papyrus. Oh, we haven't sold anything this year, so that's why. Okay, so this nice little block is gonna go well. Over here, we do have a full stock of game meat. Over here, we have a full stock of wood in case of anything. Pyramids looking, well, no progress, <laughs> except for a little bit of flat dirt, but we don't have a lot of work camps anyway. Uh, at least all these farms should be able to produce enough food to feed this block. We have more room for housing. How is our employment? No employment problems. 43 unemployed workforce, even with all these brickworks. I mean, we are producing a lot of bricks, but do we need more clay pits? Do we need more anything? Ah, we have upset Ra, so we got less trade this year. <laughs> I do think I need to get down a, a festival square somewhere. Um, maybe I'll stick it back here somewhere or something to, to just sort of get some festivals going for the gods, but uh, I'll figure out where I'm gonna stick that. But okay, besides that, everything seems to be going okay. A bit of reduced trade this year. Oh, Menakufu now is just gonna buy no bricks. Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess we'll just wait for next year then. Oh, would you look at that? 1,200 papyrus request. We have that ready to go. Bam, there we go. Now over here, we're storing up a ton of bricks. So much space for it. And it seems like uh, we're running out of straw. Oh, really? We ran out of straw to keep producing bricks. But we don't need that many right now. Money has started to come in, which is good. Uh, which means we could probably start importing something. Um, what do we need to, to place down this again? Monument, mausoleum. It requires sandstone. 240 blocks. Okay, we do actually need to maybe not store so many bricks and start storing sandstone. Um, 
and limestone actually because we need a ton of limestone and we can only import 40 a year hmm perhaps I should I don't know is it is it possible to get them both going at the same time maybe I should just have another area to store those things so I'm just gonna build a road going out this way there and I'm just gonna put a bunch of storage yards right here and this is going to be our storage space for limestone because limestone is generally the the roadblock or, or the bottleneck for our progress on things so let's just turn that on and start importing 300 blocks yeah sure uh, just start importing all of that uh, to make things a bit more efficient. I will just break this road so that I can put firehouse and architect's post. There we go. So we're going to start importing limestone. I could import barley a little bit as well. So, you know, maybe I should just do that. Uh, let's import a tiny bit of barley just to maintain 400 get some beer production going. We've got a couple of breweries, just start stockpiling that uh, so we could evolve these houses when we so desire. Our money is actually coming in quite nicely this year. Let's put a road guard inside there, get those houses evolved. We're gonna need the extra people. We are currently shot by 43, but there's plenty of room for more people there. And this is, yeah, gonna go back to accepting bricks. We'll, we'll leave this as sort of a brick storage area since this is where we are producing the bricks. And look at that, we're finally digging down into this uh, bedrock layer. Is it bedrock layer? What do they actually do? Yeah, they're digging down to bedrock, then they got to do the grooves, level it out with the, the water level, and then get all that going. Okay, so all of this is looking very, very good. Look how much food we're producing. How much food do we actually produce? Enough to support 2,000, sometimes it says like 4,000. So two to 4,000 people, which we're currently still under 2,000, so we're producing plenty of food. Okay. Uh, I also moved this bazaar over to make room for a pavilion when we so desire that. Uh, and I threw a festival to Bast to try and get a blessing. Yeah, you know, a, a blessing from Ra would probably be good as well. So maybe I just start dumping down some Ra temples or something. You know, let's, let's just drop a Ra temple right there. You know, if we could get some a Ra blessing, that would actually be good. Let's, you know, speaking of, let's just, let's hold one. Whether it's a favor blessing or a trade blessing, both good. All right, there we go. Finally getting these grooves down. Is this a visual glitch here? I think that's a slight visual glitch, which should be come. Uh, maybe they're digging it up now. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, they have to walk up to there first. That's annoying. But I did put down these extra work camps. How is our employment? Shot by six employees. That's good. Limestone coming in. It's a bit of a walk, but... Well, maybe putting the limestone here is not the best idea. Oh, there we go. The, the blessing I wanted. Pass through a festival so all the gods are happy. That's good, with an additional Ra festival on the way. Let's clear this up. Uh, you know, I think it's fine. It's a it's a slight walk, but not the worst thing, you know. Because I think we are producing enough bricks to, to maintain the supply. Or maybe I should, you know, at least get some limestone down this way. Let's just accept that. And we'll start by filling that up for now. So we'll turn all these off, but we'll turn these on if we actually fill up those two storage yards down there. Okay. So everything's looking pretty good. Employees needed, that's fine. How many blocks of limestone have we already bought this year? 32 of 40 and it's the end of the year and we're still in positive money after throwing a few festivals and placing down a few extra things so I think they're actually fine uh, They're all approving gods, you know blessing from Ra to increase trade potential that would be good sell more papyrus sell more bricks Import more limestone. Otherwise, this is gonna take forever. Just looking at this. We need 
1728 plus 768 blocks of limestone. I think we do need to start importing limestone now, otherwise we will be on this map for literally forever. Well, not literally, but practically forever. Okay, let's uh, just keep going with 2,000 people in the city. Things are looking okay. I'm just daunting how long this is all gonna take. And there we go, we're producing a little bit of beer here, which is gonna make it worth it to open up this trade route, which I just realized is open. It's Itchitawi, it's 400 to open a land trade route. I'm going to spend that money, go to the Overseer, go to beer and set it to export anything above 400 units uh, so that we can actually keep some in there and sell some. If we sell three units, it already pays for opening up the trade route. We do need to get out of debt here. We're just about entering a new um, uh, year here. Is it's this? It's the trader's life for me. It's the trader's life for me. You know, maybe at the start here, we're just gonna sell everything we can because we can import uh, three coins worth of barley and sell two coins worth of beer. So if we can actually convert most of this barley into beer, we could keep selling and provide enough for this housing block, at least for now, until we start setting up more housing blocks and we'll need a lot more beer. By the way, down here I also set up this little area so we can start grabbing some wood over to supply to the shipwright and also uh, get some fish stockpiled as I did set over here to start stockpiling reeds as well. In case there are any requests, this is the final peaceful mission. There's probably going to be lots of requests. There we go, selling some beer, getting us out of debt. It is a new year. So hopefully we can sell some stuff. There we go. Okay. This year should be pretty good. Looking at the gods, we might be getting some blessings from Osiris and Ra pretty soon. Hopefully. I do hope so. And we did max imports of limestone last year, so we're gonna get another 40 this year. But we just need so much stockpile. But also, it's important to note, Ishitawi sells limestone as well. And linen, by the way, which we will need for our luxury areas. Okay, besides that, everything does seem to be going along quite nice. There's a little bit of debt, not to worry. City is shot by 13 employees. We are, we do have too much clay production right now. So I'm gonna get rid of a clay pit, which will solve our employment problem. We're importing so much limestone, uh, which those two storage yards, maybe I just need another one, you know? Just get another one of those going. Accepting limestone, yeah. So we're cutting back a bit on the brick production because we just have way too many bricks. We have so many bricks. Uh, 20,000, so it's not, I mean, we do need 300,000, but 20,000 bricks stored up is a good stockpile to have. I don't think we need to store more than that. Once we start using bricks, which will be relatively soon, once we start using bricks, um, we'll need uh, to just keep an eye on that. You know? So let's just try and get some of these houses evolved. Now these gods, you know, I'm just gonna keep throwing down shrines to Ra to try and get a Ra blessing because I, I really want trade potential increase. That's just gonna speed up so many things, whether it's imports or exports. Look at all these bricks, there's so much just stored up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Bit of fish is coming in as well, so if there's a request for anything at this point, I think we've got a stockpile of anything. Grain, reeds, papyrus, Fish, wood, game meat. That is everything we can produce, right? I think that is. All right, so let's just keep on going and uh, try to make enough money. Uh, we are now selling beer, so that should speed things along a little bit and at least maintain these limestone imports. And if we do actually have a surplus of beer, I can start providing it to this area. Ah, oh, there you go, a great festival to Ptah is being held at Abu and they want 1,800 fish, 12 months to comply. And we are in debt. But how much fish do we have? Not a lot. Uh, we should probably get another fishing wharf going, you know, just to speed that up. Uh, we've got 400, uh, 1,800 is actually quite a bit. Um, maybe I should triple my fishing potential here. So I'm gonna do that and just expand that. Now, how's our employment right now? No employment problems, so we do probably need a bit more people. Looks like we have too much clay going on. So let's uh, knock out one more clay pit there. 
to support these extra fishing wharves, that shipwright is gonna keep on going. Okay, but by the way, we are producing quite a lot of beer, which means we are now selling quite a lot of beer. Looking at the trade routes, we can import 4,000 barley a year and sell 2,500 beer a year. And it seems like we are maxing beer sales, yes? If you just buy up all of this beer. Yes, that should be maxed, right? Just about, okay, 100 short. But that extra cash is a big deal. Uh, because that's basically enabling us to do so much more. By the way, I put down more shrines to Ra, 10 shrines in the city. Come on, Ra, give me a trade blessing. That would be so nice right about now. You know, maybe I just try push Ra over the edge uh, with another festival, okay? Let's just try and get that. Is this hippo starting to kill my pyramid workers? No, okay. But looking at this, they are now clearing up the water level here. They've leveled off all the stone based on the nice little water. In case you didn't know, that's what they're doing. They fill this with water so they know exactly to make all of this level. Isn't that smart? <laughs> Um, but yeah, everything is looking pretty good. There's another fishing boat. We are gonna have 600 units of fish here, which is... Uh, how much time do we have? 10 months. We might be able to hit that if... Oh, this guy's going this way? Is there a nearby fishing spot? Oh, there's a fishing spot there. So there's three fishing spots on the map. There's one up here. Yeah, there's one there, one here, and one over here. So we got three fishing boats now, there we go. Okay, so I think we will hit that in time. And we're still overproducing clay, really? Oh, we have no more room for bricks to store. Um, do we want to keep storing bricks? I don't know. Um, I guess we probably should, right? Because we do need so many bricks. So let's just have one more storage yard set to accepting bricks, because why not? Uh, meanwhile, there's plenty more room for the limestone. We're not importing any sandstone yet, which is required for the mausoleum. But, you know, the mausoleum does go by pretty quick once you get the 240 sandstones. I'm not too concerned about that. There's the lavish festival for Ra, and your city can sell its exports for half again their usual value. Ah, that, that is very good. 50% <laughs> trade profit increase. That's actually really good. Um, at no extra requirement for extra resources. So that's perfect, actually. All right, guys, we do have quite a bit of money here. Looking at that, that Ra blessing doing its work, uh, which means I'm just gonna draw a road right here, around the back, on the back of this. Um, and I'm gonna have to move this temple to Bast, I think, because I'm going to put down a temple complex to Bast right here. Right, that's gonna look fantastic. Uh, yeah, that, that should work, yeah. It's got access to the workers from there, yes. Bam. Temple complex to Bast. Let's make sure it doesn't burn down with a uh, firehouse and architect's post. There we go. And the road's not touching there yet, so I can leave that. We can get rid of that temple to Bast and also Looking at what a temple to Bast does, uh, let's just look here. Um, obviously the temples, religion, temples and shrines, temple complex to Bast. Mainly just building it means citizens are happy by making them satisfied with less, which I think means they use fewer resources to keep themselves happy here, which is massively, massively important. Why is there a bizarre walker here? This bizarre walker spawned there because that's that's not that's not good. Uh, let's just keep an eye on that to make sure bizarre walkers don't keep spawning there. I'm gonna just maybe shorten this road, right, just to try and keep that from happening. Uh, the temple uh, additions, altar of Isis, oracle of Hathor, also help keep people happier. Can we afford this? Oh, they're pretty expensive. Maybe next year, but uh, it, they also make the priestesses of Bast help deal with disease, which is going to be pretty good as well. So this is a very nice addition. It takes 50 people, geez. Um, but since uh, since people use less now, we can start letting the bazaars buy up some beer. 
and evolve these houses, bringing in more people, and that should solve that. By the way, it is May. How are our beer exports? 1,000 of 2,500. Oh, just in time. Look at that. Two months to comply for this fish request. Let's dispatch that. All right, so overall, this is looking very, very good. Oh, look at all that money. Uh, let's just get this out of the way then. Temple Complex, Altar of Isis, bam. Temple Complex, Oracle of Hathor, bam. And the t Temple Complex to Bast is now complete. It's gonna be wonderful. Ah, oh, that's such a nice thing. It also makes people happier, so idolize me as a god. So when I start taxing people, which I should probably do, uh, <laughs> um, they'll be able to put up with more. Now, with the gods being pretty happy, I need to make some room here for things. Uh, there's some debt. I do want these houses evolved. I'll put down the courthouse maybe a little bit later. We are in a bit of debt, but it's fine. We've got many more exports to go. Uh, we probably need to focus on our beer or barley imports a little bit more, but you know, I guess it's fine. Let's keep on going. Oh, would you look at that? Ichitawi is now willing to trade even more blocks of limestone, which is a pretty big deal. So we can now import 40, no, 80 limestone a year. Ah, so that's gonna help speed things along quite a bit. Now I do have a lot of storage yards here stocked up with limestone. Uh, once these are full, I'll probably, I don't think I can fit any more storage yards of limestone down here. Uh, we are also pretty heavily in debt, so I think I will just temporarily stop that importing because uh, are we import we're importing barley. We need to import the barley. I'm going to stop the importing just for now because I wasn't expecting to have that go up. And uh, let's just get the beer production going so that we can actually export some beer because that's going to be kind of important. Uh, most of the beer has just gone into these bazaars to provide for these houses, which I think I will now maybe just let one hold on to the beer, because we probably don't need that much, right? Yeah. Um, so that we can export more than, uh, yeah. I think we should, how much, how much barley are we importing actually? 3,000? Okay, we imported 3,000 barley. The first feeding of beer does take a bit of a hit. You can see these two by twos, they basically take eight units each. No inundation, that's fine. Food supply is actually fine. All right, but at least Bast should be pretty happy. Bast will never be upset anyway. Okay, maybe we should try go for another Ra blessing, but we gotta get out of debt first. And there's another request for 2,600 reeds, which I have actually been keeping. So let's just dispatch that immediately. And new trade route available. Abu can now be opened. Okay, do you buy anything? Abu, down here buys clay, pottery, reeds, and papyrus. It's a water trade route though, so that kind of sucks. Reeds and papyrus, ah, uh, hmm. And pottery and clay. That gives me the idea of setting it up over on a separate area. Like over on this side. Because then it won't mess with this supply, right? That makes sense, I think. Yeah, okay. Anyway, it is a new year, so we're gonna get out of debt soon. Once we get out of debt, I'll focus on setting up a dock right here. And then we can use these reeds and set up a bit of a clay and pottery industry to export here. And then export right out of this side, right? Because I don't think this reed... Oh, we are actually harvesting some of these... Oh no, hippos are eating these reeds, so... That's a little annoying. There's no reeds on this side, right? Yeah. So I think I will set up... Um... I don't know, there's actually quite a lot of reeds here. But then the walk might be... No, it's actually okay. The walk's not too far. I could set it up right here as well. Yeah, okay, I could set it up on this side. We are out of debt, so that's good. Um, but what do we import from Abu? Let's just check that. We can import straw, flax, linen, gems, granite, and sandstone. Hmm. So I think it is actually better to set it up on this side. Yeah. 
And then we'll just sell all of this. Yeah, we can, we'll even sell the clay, because why not? It's a new year, employees are needed, but uh, look at all that money. And also, look down here, a new trade route to Abu has been opened and we can sell all four of these resources. So, let's put this. We can sell clay, pottery, reeds, and papyrus. A thousand, open that trade route. And I've turned off a couple industries, namely bricks and game meat and wood. We can now export. All the clay we can export. We can export all the pottery. Where is it? Uh, export all the pottery that we can export. And we're gonna try max our sales to Abu. We are already exporting papyrus and export reeds. Where's the reeds? There. We're gonna export this, everything we got. With this new area down here. Clay, pottery, reeds, papyrus. I'm not sure if we're currently producing enough to max the exports, but we're gonna see. I can always put more stuff down, um, but we're gonna leave it like that for now. Now, a trade boat should come in from one of these sides. I'm not sure... Left side? Right side? Southern... Uh, southern side. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. And the great news is that there's no marshland between here and there, so... <laughs> no chance of, of the boat sinking in the, the floodplains. By the way, because there was no flood last year, look at this, a lot of farms are still stuck at 100%, so... We're actually way overproducing food, it's actually, yeah, it's way done. Uh, the pyramid is finally flattening out. I did turn off the brick industry because, you know... Um, we have just way too many bricks. I'm gonna convert this now into a pavilion. Because I want to evolve these houses, uh, which we do need to get rid of that house as well. So, pavilion can fit right there, and we need a dance school, which I can put down somewhere. Uh, where's a good spot for the dance school? Let's just find a place. Uh, I kind of filled up everything. <laughs> There's actually no real good spot. You know, maybe I just... No, no, it shouldn't go there. I could, if I get rid of this temple to bust, and just put the dance school right there. It makes the reed gatherers walk a bit further, but you know, we're already way over producing everything. Come on, let's, let's just, no, no, don't, ah. Okay, I, I know we need the money, but I'm gonna fit a dance school here eventually. There we go, got the dance school down. So we can now evolve these with a courthouse as well, right there in that corner. Looking good, so we'll get all of these houses evolved, and also we could probably just squeeze in a couple more houses, because why not? Go. That looks good. That should solve our employment problem. We are short by 37 with the brick industry off. Evolving all those houses with a few extra houses should allow us to turn it back on because we're going to need to turn the brick industry back on here. And also with all this money, I can now start re-importing limestone. Okay, because I do want to try and make sure we have enough limestone. We need uh, 768 blocks of limestone for that one pyramid there. And we're about a quarter of the way there. All right, trade boat is here. I wonder if the city has any sites I could see while they unload my ship. Selling pretty much everything we can. It's currently June. I'm just going to see how much of this stuff we can actually export. It buys a bit of everything. What a wonderful journey. Now, looking at this, 800, 700, 600, 100. Do we need more papyrus production, maybe? We could fit another workshop right there. Maybe. I'm, I'm just gonna see how much we sell this year and then change things as we so need them. I think some of these are not... Oh, they're not fully staffed either. So we do have to be careful about that. Meanwhile, beer production is looking very nice. These are all stocked. Yes, good. Um, probably... Uh, no, you know, it's, it's, I think it's fine. Maybe I could get rid of a couple of these fishing wharves. Make some room for more people there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Maybe I should have just turned off the fishing industry as well, but never mind, I've already demolished it. But there we go, these are all now evolved into spacious apartments, making room for a few more people, which is good. And let's see if we can solve our employment problem and with this new trade route, keep money going on up. And also, you know, I'm just gonna throw another, another festival to Ra here because uh, I want to. <laughs> 
Yes, look at that. To acknowledge your respectful attitude, Ra inspires your trading partners to trade even more than before. A minor blessing from Ra that has huge consequences. Look how much stuff we can sell. Look how much stuff we can import. Uh, actually, no, imports are the same. But sell. No, we can sell more bricks. We can sell more beer. We can sell more papyrus. We can sell more. <laughs> look how much stuff we can sell. Uh, the next time these boats come by, uh, we could sell so much stuff. So that's going to be a huge year for trade. We have evolved all of these houses. Uh, are we finally what, cleaning up these last little bits of uh, pyramid spots here? And uh, we are re-importing the limestone, right? Yes, yes, we are re-importing limestone. Uh, how much limestone have we stocked up? 268, you know, maybe it's time I sort of set up... Uh, some kind of sandstone storage because this is going to be a huge year for imports uh, rather exports so i'm just gonna do this and i'm gonna go ahead and break this road here so that i can then go storage yard now we need um we need to store how much 240 is it 240 with 32 each, we probably need a lot of these, right? We just need so many. That's eight. I think we need nine? Nine, right? And just firehouse, architect's post. And I'm gonna set this to importing uh, sandstone. Now, I do know that Abu can sell sandstone as well. Besides that, we can import from... Oh wait, is it only a water trade route? Wait, did we not have the ability to import sandstone before? I'm sure we could. Wait, did I miss C? Is it only from the water trade route? Oh wait, no, it's Baki. There we go. Three coins on sandstone, thousand to open the trade. Can I afford that? I can afford that. Okay. Uh, right. I knew I could see it. Okay. So let's open this trade route. Visit Overseer. Let's import. Yeah, we are importing the sandstone and it's going to go right into all of these. Okay. Uh, and not for the water trade route, which I guess, you know, to speed things up, I could just put a storage yard right here that will accept sandstone as well. And I now need to make sure all of these only accept sandstone as well. This is a little tedious, but there we go. Let's do this. This is going to take a while, but if we can get all this sandstone going, that's going to be good. Let's do this. Make sure nothing else accidentally ends up in these storage yards. And there we go. Okay. Now, employment, no employment problems, fantastic. We can evolve these houses though, but I think I need to destroy a house to make room for a scribal school. So, where should that go? Somewhere near here. I'm just gonna go ahead and bust down... Here, in this little corner, I think. I'm gonna bust down that. Put a scribal school right here to get these houses evolved. Oh, so some of these houses aren't quite evolving, so I'm just gonna up the gardens. There we go. Lovely. There, that looks good. Okay, so we got a scribal school down, which should evolve most of these houses. Plenty of papyrus, sandstone's coming in, exports, is there a boat? I love the art of the deal. Oh, so we got, I think we need supplies. more, another pottery workshop maybe? Yeah, I think I need another potter. I might need another papyrus workshop because we can sell quite a bit actually. 2,500. Yeah, I think I need another papyrus maker there. Better to sell the process goods than the raw materials, but any surplus space. Yeah, there we go. We'll bring in some sandstone as well. Who's dying? Oh, the hippo is there. And yeah, I'm just gonna put down enough room for two storage yards accepting sandstone so we can get sandstone going as quickly as possible. What is all of this? Wait, why is... Oh, that's touching that road. Let's, let's stop that. <laughs> uh, we actually don't need this road here. Um, 
Yeah, that's better, that's better. Okay, so with two storage yards down here, we don't need so many up there. Money is streaming on in, uh, which makes me want to put down a city palace and dynasty mansion, which I guess we can just go ahead and have lined up with our temple complex here. So I'm gonna do this to hook that up, which means we can now tax these people because we have evolved them to common residences. Is there a place I could maybe make room for a tax collector? You know... Hmm. This is a little difficult of a decision to make. You know, do we need two firehouses? If I clear that off, I could just put the tax collector right there. There we go. Okay. So we can start taxing these houses, which is going to be important. With so much money in the bank, I'm going to plaza it up in this block. Get some more of these houses evolved, looking good. We have... Are all of our storage yards filled with uh, limestone? It is, isn't it? How much limestone do we have stored? 284? I guess I could make room for one more right here. Just to bring in even more limestone, keep that going. I will have to up the amount I'm importing. Just... Really? I can only import to maintain 300? I can't import more than that? Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the limitation then. Alright, so all of this is looking fantastic. Um, yeah, I guess we just keep on going. How's our employment? Shot by 63? Is there room for more people? No, I, I think I guess I just start setting up a new housing block, right? I think so. Okay, so we needed more people and I was thinking of doing another housing block, but you know, just do a little road here. A little bizarre there. Getting all the resources needed. S strangely getting pottery and beer before getting... Um, uh, before getting food, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put down the tax collector as well before we forget. Now, we did start taxing people and that's like another 4,000 Deben a year because these are all common residences. So, um, that's gonna be supplying so much money. And you know, I actually am gonna stop exporting papyrus for a little while because there's a request for 3,200 papyrus and we need to stockpile that. Um, so let's stop selling that. By the way, for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. so much stuff is being exported, so much money is coming on in. These houses need some entertainment, I think, so I'm just gonna extend this road like that. And then I think I should be able to fit a pavilion like this. No? Never quite too sure where the road needs to go. I think that should work, right? There we go. So we have a pavilion right at the end of the road. Destination Walker will get all of these houses entertained. And yeah, this is a, just a nice little addition which will be along this mausoleum here and, and just filling up the little gap between the industry and this all of that. It'll look very good. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think with our amount of limestone maxed at 300 imports, this now needs... Uh, masons to get things going so with these extra people coming in we can go ahead and put we got six months to do that uh, we need some wood so i guess i put down the carpenters guild here right that can start that going and then construction guild stonemason we can start spamming this up i guess should be fine stonemason brick layers brick layers Stonemasons. Is there any more room for stuff? We actually kind of filled up a lot of stuff here. Yeah. We've reached 3,000 people though, that's good. That's stonemason. Just spam some of these construction guilds around. Uh, a lot of bricklayers guilds will probably help actually if we could find room for it. Uh, we just put one right there. We could put some along here actually. Yeah, bricklayers. Stonemasons, you know, just in case, another Carpenter's Guild. And, uh, why is this guy not delivering any wood? Oh, we actually need this functioning, don't we? 
So let us clear off that stonemason's guild. Adjust this road shape just to do this to get that functioning. Um, maybe wood is not... No, no, wood should be delivered, right? Just in case I'm gonna put a... Yeah, that, that, that should definitely work, right? If I just check this... There we go, there we go. Not sure why that one's not working. Maybe... Confused with the ship, right? No? Okay, I, I don't know. Well, that one's not working, that's fine. We'll, we'll just have one over here. Uh, as a backup, we'll have another Carpenter's Guild. Just so things can go along as fast as possible. And look at this. Bricks are all coming on in. How's our employment? No employment problems? Well, we're gonna have employment problems now because we're gonna turn on the brick industry again. Bricks. Industry is on. And all of that is gonna start pulling in a lot of stuff. Needs more desirability to evolve these houses. Oh, we have enough? Yes. Dispatch. And we can continue exporting papyrus when it's over. Let's just make sure we do have some storage. 800. Get these houses evolved again. Bring in more people. Plaza up this road. And we can drop a courthouse right at the end of this road, like this. Continue plazaing up this road until it's all done. Yeah, there we go. Courthouse evolves these to spacious apartments. We are shot by 63 employees, but that's fine. Look at this. We're now using up the bricks finally. Limestone, everything. And now I will make sure this is set to not accepting limestone. So we can focus all the limestone to be down there. And to make things move even faster, you set these to getting limestone. So if there's any spare space down here, these storage yards will actually go and get the limestone from the northern four storage yards. Right? Good. Clever. Fantastic. And we can set these bricks to empty. Like that. So those bricks are moved southwards. And this one can be set to getting bricks. So to bring the bricks down here as fast as possible as well. Ah, look at that. The pyramid is finally on the way. This is gonna be great. And as things get used up, what was this for? Accepting bricks? Yeah, we don't need this anymore. Bam, done. Uh, look how fast the first layer was done. This is gonna speed along so nicely. And the work camps are now digging that stuff up. Good inundation. The people moved in, shot by 15 employees. You know, we can have more houses, no problem. Look at that. And look at our money, 7,000. How's our tax income? Do people still love me? People are pleased with you? Okay, so I'll leave tax as it is. And yeah, look at that. Look how, how nicely this is all working. It's all very compact. I know it looks rather messy, but once these storage yards are cleared off, it's gonna be fine. I'm not sure if we need more clay pits here or need more reeds. Employees needed. That's a good sign because we just crossed over. More people moving in. And the pyramids, oh, these are gonna take so long, but I'm just so happy that finally on the way, we're gonna continue importing limestone. We're maintaining at 300, I don't know if we can... Malaria. And... Oh, a gift of 6,400 bricks. Do I have room for that? I guess so, so I'm gonna accept that. Oh, that, that's such a nice gift. 6,400 bricks, bam, filled everything up. Fantastic, so malaria came down there, weirdly. Malaria. Those houses. Well, all right, well, that's fine, whatever. Is this bazaar able to keep up with things? I think so. Food supply looks good. Beer supply looks good. We are still exporting everything. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Look how nicely and smoothly everything is running. Isn't it wonderful? 
Uh, it's always nice seeing a new layer and all the brick layers and stonemasons coming on down. Now we did get a bit of a curse from Patar and he burnt our storage yards here with the sandstone in it. So that's just going to delay our construction of um, the mausoleum by a little bit as we lost like um, 60 <laughs> sandstone. Uh, but we're going to get that back, don't you worry. We, all, we still have all of this up here from the land trade routes. Limestone is staying very high and we're trying to shift uh, more stuff down this way. It looks like bricks were just grabbed by the bucket load and a new trade route to Nossos can now be opened. Nossos? Where is that? Oh, here. Yeah. 2,000 Deben for a land trade route. Okay, and they buy wood and papyrus. Well, uh, all right, we're gonna open that. We are now gonna resume uh, our wood industry. Turn that on. We can export wood. It's a land trade route, so no problem there. And I'm gonna continue exporting when over 800. So as long as we have some papyrus going for this uh, scribal school, then it's fine. As long as there's a single scribal school working here, which should be fine. There's some employment issues there. Though. It's, it's fine. Uh, there is some papyrus being stored over on this side, though, so we've got to make sure we do actually sell that. Um, but yeah, selling some wood is going to be fine. I put down a warship wharf here, which uh, probably should get down another one while we're at it. Why not? And we're just sort of speed... Look how fast we can shift this product, all the bricks and limestone and everything. We got uh, quite a few... Uh, masons here. Now this is now empty, so what I can do is I can now destroy that and put down another work camp there to speed up the transport of things. And also now these walkers don't have to go around the long way, they can go up this way to the entrance of the pyramid. So that will speed things up a little bit. Look at the bricks. The, the brick layer pretty much went very, very fast. How's employment, by the way? Unemployment of 9%, really? Uh, we need to... Uh, Clear off more space then. Um, we've got a lot of stonemasons guilds. We, we got rid of that storage yard. All these brick storage yards are pretty full. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if we could do this much faster, but... I wonder if the city has any sites I could see while they unload my ship. Oh, it's December. It's not a new year for trading. I see, I see. But we're making so much money, so we're not concerned about that at all. Just sort of waiting. All of this seems pretty stable. I put down more houses here to, to fill up this row, and that's looking good. And yeah, we just need to keep things going. I suppose I could think about setting up the, um, the luxury area, and I probably do at least need one more solid housing block, which I should probably put somewhere around here. Maybe I'll just put it down here. You know? I could put it over here. I could put it anywhere. There's, there's really not any sort of concern right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna try figure out where I'm gonna put more housing blocks as this construction speeds along. Ah, oh, would you look at that? Abu is now willing to trade even more blocks of sandstone, which is great! And there's a lavish festival, because I know you guys like me throwing festivals. And look at this, I'm doing something a little bit silly. I'm doing something a little bit silly. I hope you don't mind. Uh, that's the wrong spot. Uh, I am currently going to make a silly block design. And I always kind of like the fishbone block design, which I used in Caesar 3. And I'm doing a variation of it here. And, uh, you know... Not the worst thing I could do. <laughs> this is less efficient, but you know, we need to have some area for uh, culture spam and all of that. We could easily get some food going here. And, you know, I don't want to do such standard blocks on this final mission. I want to do some interesting looking things. So here we go. We've got a little fishbone design. We'll wait for people to move in and then we'll get things going. Um, and yeah, this is going to be great. We could probably get away with not having six of everything though. Uh, so I'm gonna try stagger some of my supply facilities here. But yeah, this is gonna at least look interesting and we'll, we'll be able to do some cool stuff there. Meanwhile, the pyramid's just speeding along as pretty much as fast as I can make it go. Uh, waiting for enough sandstone to come in so I can put down that mausoleum. So just checking here, sandstone 173. We need 240. And there is a gift of bricks. 
So let's just accept that. Bam. That's like two and a half storage yards full of bricks. We were actually low on bricks. Would you look at that? Are we low on clay? Oh, we're low on clay. I see. So I guess we should get rid of one work camp, put down another clay pit, try and keep that going. Uh, it seems like we have... How is this holding? This, we were emptying this? Okay, let's clear that off. Uh, I guess we did just use up a ton of bricks, right? You know, since we're making money, I'm gonna stop selling bricks too. Uh, I forgot we're actually exporting us. Let's stop exporting bricks, you know? Uh, we're actually exporting so much stuff. We're at 20,000 Deben. I've lowered taxes. I'm just gonna be messing around while these things build up. Uh, and it looks like this is almost dug out as well. Well, flattened at least, while this smaller pyramid keeps on going. Um, some homes have come down with malaria. What is with these houses? You know, I think I gotta clear off those two houses right there. It's not, it's not really working out. And let's put down a shrine to Osiris and a shrine to Ptah, because they always get upset. So yeah, I'm just going to be messing around putting, well, getting this working, because uh, why not? And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep on going. This is just going to take a long time. It's going to take a long time. So might as well do some interesting things while we're waiting. Okay, so here we go. This fishbone design is gonna work. I'm gonna make it work because I want to make it work. We've got three pavilions. We're trying to go for three of everything except for some essentials like apothecaries and firehouses and stuff like that. Look at that. First harvest of food is gonna come in. That's gonna produce a pretty good amount of food. How's food over on this side, by the way? There's still some surplus at the end of the year, so that's fantastic. And, you know, uh, since we have plenty of money, I'm just gonna start plazaing up this fishbone. Bam. There we go. More people moving in. We are currently short on employees uh, by 55, but look, we're gonna start feeding all of this, and it's gonna be amazing. We're bringing some pottery over as well, but we'll wait for the... Uh, the food to be distributed first. Let's just keep plazaing all of these roads up. There we go. Some of these struggling a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, centered the... well, lined the center of the fishbone with houses as well. You know, this is the final mission, so why not do something a little bit interesting? There we go. Filling up the granary and the storage yard with food. All these three bazaars should be able to go grab some food now. There we go. Bam. Grab some. We're gonna start feeding these houses, no problem. Meanwhile, the pyramids looking pretty good. We've dug up to bedrock on this side. Look at them, they're like little ants running around. Um, and we've actually been using up all of our bricks. So I've been getting rid of storage yards and making room for more brickworks. And we're now actually, for the first time, importing bricks. We're actually buying bricks because, you know, why not? Uh, also, looking at trade routes, we can actually import even more bricks if I open up Rowarty and Mennefer opened as an option for trade as well, which we don't really need. But uh, if I want to import more bricks, I could open up this land trade route, which might help. It might or might not help. I don't know. Uh, how are exports and all earnings, really? Uh, looking at this, uh, 6%. I lowered tax rate because people were unhappy. They love me now. So I'm going to up this tax rate again because I upped our wages to 8. So I could probably get away with more taxes. And yeah, we're, we're hovering around 10,000 deep and it goes up, it goes down. You know, I'm gonna open up this trade route so I can import more bricks and barley. I'll probably need it eventually. Yeah, just bring in more bricks. It's so amazing that so many of these trade routes are land trade routes. If you look at this, even Nossos, look at that. They sail around the Mediterranean and come here and sail up and then they land somewhere and cross over into Hetap Senusret. So they're all land trade routes, which is pretty good. And uh, have we not opened a trade? Well, we haven't opened to Mennefer, but uh, we really don't need to sell any of this and we don't need to buy any of that. So it's fine. Papyrus is still stable here. That's good. Uh, a little surplus of reeds. Sandstone. Yes. Do we have enough sandstone yet? We have 243. Yes. So now I'm going to stop importing sandstone. I can now go ahead to monuments, mausoleum, and it's going there. And remember, you can't press R to rotate this, you rotate the map, and it goes with you. Bam. Mausoleum placed down, rotated for fun, and now it's gonna go there, and we need more sandstone, so 256, so okay, reopen the import of sandstone. We need 256. 
Yeah, just keep that coming. Just keep that coming. By the way, there was also uh, Abu willing to trade more sandstone. It's 25 a year now. Uh, so we can get 25 plus... Uh, it's hard to keep track of who sells what. I'm sure... Where, where's the land trade route for? So this is a... Uh, Baki is a land trade route. 25 a year. This, so we can get 50 a year. 50 a year of sandstone. And Abu is now willing to trade even more sheets of papyrus, you know. I don't really need the money, but you know. I also connected this up, so this storage yard isn't awkwardly getting. But you see, we are actually selling wood as well. Money is going back up. These houses are now ordinary cottages. They need pottery. You know, we can just set these to go buy pottery as well, you know. Just, why not? Yeah. Go ahead. Ben. Good. Fantastic. Ah, so we can get these houses evolved pretty quick as well. And beer, you know, I might bring beer over to this side, I'm not too sure. With the increasing population, how are the gods? Ptah is currently a little unhappy, so let's just throw down some shrines to Ptah. Need some desirability over here. Let's not do that. Let's do that. You know, Osiris, you know, we haven't done something to Ra for a while, so let's throw a few shrines down to Ra. Okay. So the fishbone design is gonna work. Three pavilions will help our culture rating. Pottery's over. Food's looking a little low after this first evolution, but there we go. Spacious homesteads, which need beer to evolve further. I just don't want them to be ordinary cottages because those burn down really easily, right? And I don't want that happening. But besides that, fishbone block design. Pretty much done. Good. That's going to increase our population. That makes the map look a little bit different. Rather than just normal loops and blocks and stuff like that. Um, limestone is keeping up. We the, All these storage yards are set to getting. So they're slowly going to be grabbing this limestone to bring it down to this side. But we don't really use as many limestones as we do bricks. So just waiting for more bricks to come in. Not sure if another gift of bricks will come in at any point, but it's fine. Oh, we actually dropped below 10,000 Deben there. So we gotta make sure we don't lose too much money. What a wonderful journey. We're waiting for some cargo to be delivered to our ship. You know, it should be fine. If, if we drop too far down, I'll just make sure we, we turn off exports or something. Um, I don't need this anymore, do I? Right? I want the sandstone to be kept closer, so I can keep the sandstone all down there. So yeah, I don't need this road at all anymore. So let's clear that off. And just keep the desirability up. There. So these guys... Yeah. So sandstone will be kept down here, where we're importing from boat and land. Just store it all up there in case we need it. Um, Oh, we're starting to dig the grooves here to, to get the level going. Mausoleum also now on the way. So all three monuments are now being constructed. Back up to 10,000 Deben in the bank. All of these mostly evolved. They'll, they'll eventually get there. It's the new farming season and we should be producing enough food to support all of this. What does it say here? Support 10,000 people with this many farms. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. It's just we went through a whole first feeding for all of these houses just now, and yeah. There's actually quite a bit of food left in the bazaars. Yeah, actually, it's fine, it's fine. Look at that, it's great. All right, let's keep on going. Hey, would you look at that? Now 5,000 people live here, so things are looking pretty good. At this point, it is really just a matter of waiting. We've got uh, 5,000 people, we'll probably get 6,000 people with just these houses. Yeah, there's plenty of room for more people to move in. So we're basically halfway to our target goal at this point, and we're probably going to be getting a lot of unemployment, so you know at this point, I should probably start considering our luxury housing, which will be going along over on this side. We can get the three types of food, fishing, farming, and hunting, papyrus, clay pits. Uh, the only thing we need to bring over is beer. The rest are imports and pretty much everything is land trade routes. So do we have two types of luxury goods yet? Uh, we can import gems. We can import linen. Um, we can import... 
Do we not have a second type of luxury good quite yet? Oh no, Nosos. They sell olive oil. Oh right, because it's Greece. So we do already have access to two different types of uh, luxury goods. So we could just go ahead and get things going with this fishbone design basically bringing in the employment for the luxury block. By the way, how's the food supply? The bazaars have sort of run out of food, but uh, it's April, May, June, July, August. Uh, we should get the food in soon enough. Um, but besides that, everything looks great. So yeah, we're now gonna focus on setting up a luxury area over on this side and see if we can get that to boost up our prosperity rating, which we are losing a lot of money, but bringing in more tax income and just uh, maybe getting the population up a bit. Oh, would you look at that? Abu is blessed by Patar and requests 1,500 game meat. We actually already have that, so just let's dispatch that. And, you know, we can turn the industry back on. It's been off for a while. Game meat, industry on. There we go. And here is our luxury block. We're going for six right now, and I'm just going to be putting down some temples here um, in a way that looks good. Do all the temples... This face is this way, so I guess we could have... Temple to Bas there, Temple to Osiris there, Temple to Ra here. You know, that looks generally good. We could have the pavilion come down this way. Can a pavilion go there? The pavilion can go there. Okay. Services are going on the inside, houses on the outside, um, which I don't always do, but, you know, it is actually more efficient. Uh, water supply, let's put that down. Okay, we're gonna need, uh... Yeah, we probably have plenty of unemployment, right? 8%, yeah. So I'm just gonna start putting down all the services. Um, yeah, we can have a courthouse there. Uh, we're gonna need all sorts of things. Senate house. And then we'll just need, like, a road coming out of the block right here which can be roadblocked like that yeah that's good um, might as well plaza it up right now it's a nice simple block design we did something fancy over here with the fishbone design so no problem doing this now we can start setting up how to get all of the resources we need off this edge here I know it's not Maybe the most efficient way of doing things, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> I actually can have a road come out this side as well for more resources. Road block that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, shrines? I want shrines. We can fill the back of this with shrines just because we want to. There we go. Okay, so now. Room for six luxury palaces, or palatial estates rather. We have some game meat coming in from there. We're gonna need a granary, we need farms, we need fishing wharves, a uh, kind of... Uh, hmm, how do I make this work somewhat appropriately? I guess having some houses here would actually work, right? And they should be covered by services and stuff? Yeah. Then we can get things going. Okay, this is all looking pretty nice. We'll do a kind of a loop on this side. And then uh, get some pottery. We'll bring some beer over. Bricks are looking okay, actually, now that we're importing so much. Money is going down a little bit. We did... Uh, people still love me, so I'm upping my taxes very slowly until people stop loving me. Um, we're just going to be careful. I did just spend a lot of money, though. But yeah, this is going to be our... Palatial estate block. Six of them should be enough. It'll bring in quite a bit. Let's make sure we don't forget things like tax collectors and stuff like that. Uh, also, having the houses on the outside means we can have plenty of room for more desirability stuff around the outside. If, like, there's a palatial estate right there, hard to add more desirability stuff. So yeah, this is all looking great. We'll keep that going. Wait for those houses to move in. The rest of the city is looking stable. Food. Yeah, bazaars filled with food, yeah, entertainment, pottery, yes, this block over here, still looking good, yes, good, okay, yeah, it's all great, <laughs> it's just gonna take forever.
Ah, oh, would you look at that? Rewarity has lost hope. Famine has struck. They want 2,400 fish. Do I actually have that much? I actually have exactly 2,400 fish. So yeah, there you go. Help yourself. We could start stockpiling fish again. Uh, it's been a while since we needed to use fish for something. Uh, meanwhile, over on this side, I pretty much got... I've been using all that unemployment to get all of this going. A bit of pottery, bit of papyrus, a uh, bit of beer grabbed on over. Money is looking okay. I think I want to just start importing linen to maintain 800, I guess. Right? And we could import... Uh, what else could we import? Uh, we can import... Luxury goods? We can import luxury goods to maintain... 800 as well. You know, when we first import these things in, it might cost a little bit, but I, it's actually fine. Uh, what else do we need? Um, is there actually a way to import meat? Does anyone sell meat? Someone does? Oh, they do sell meat. So, you know, maybe I don't start fishing. I could fish if I so desired, but, you know, importing meat is not the worst idea. So perhaps I set this to accepting a quarter of meat and I can import 800 meat. You know, I probably should set it to 1,600 because it's a food source and might need quite a bit. So I set this to accepting a fill up to half of meat. But is that going to be enough for a whole area? 1,500 meat a year? You know, I don't know. I don't... Maybe maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I should just figure out how to, to fish in this area. I, I wanted to make things easier, but maybe... Maybe not. Maybe not. That... It's not scalable. It's not scalable. That... Yeah. Maybe if it was 2,000 something, it would have been better. But yeah. Um... Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It, but let's not rely on that. We have three types of food. I'm just gonna have a road extend out this side, you know. Perhaps I'll have the fish stored over onto another side. So let's not have fish here. Just set this to getting half, getting half. Yeah, we've got two types of food there. We'll have the third type of food extended out this way. And we're just going to set up a fishing area down this side. So we could get a third type of food. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. Let's bring in some houses there. We'll need a police station. And we need an apothecary. And a physician. Okay, and we'll get rid of those houses later. Okay, so we'll have the the granary and stuff here and a physician shifted to there okay granary can go right there for fish alone and nothing else besides that it looks like we should be importing everything we need for luxury housing so we could very quickly evolve everything which is gonna be great Hey, would you look at that? Another gift of bricks, as we're just about setting up more things on this area, but we don't have storage for it, surprisingly, because uh, we've uh, been uh, uh, actually stockpiling quite a bit. So I'm going to set this over here to accept bricks. And how much was the gift? Of how much? 3,400? How much fits in one storage yard? 3,200? Okay, so one storage yard over here to accept bricks will be enough to accept that gift. The pyramids are looking good. This grid for the water leveling is almost done. Um, oh, we're actually collecting papyrus from here now. Uh, but meanwhile, over on this side, everything is being prepped. Uh, scribal school is down. Two types of food. Three types of food should come soon. Fishing boats are just about on the way. And I also set it so that it's going to store in the storage yard because we can import we can import fish, which is going to import to maintain 1,600, which is half of this storage yard right here. Um, so we can produce some of our own fish, we can import any extra fish if we so uh, need it, and also it can store in the storage yard, and any food you're importing can be taken straight from these bazaars. Now, let's split up these bazaars into what they need to get because money's gone back up. We've imported luxury goods, linen and everything and let's accept that brick gift. Fantastic. Now, you are gonna buy grain. You are gonna buy game meat. You will buy pottery. You will buy beer. 
you will buy linen and you will buy luxury goods. And which one? So we probably need a lot more pottery and linen compared to beer and luxury goods. So you will also buy fish. And that will be the three types of food and everything else they need. Library can go there. Mortuary can go... No, library can go there. Mortuary can go here, I guess. Is this correct place? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine if there's a little bit of a gap there. Yeah. So this delivering papyrus to the scribal school there. Please don't buy papyrus out of here. It's the trader's life for me. Oh, that's a little annoying, but that's fine. So, uh, Senate House. Oh, I just realized there's no room for a Senate House. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I'm gonna have to move something. Ah, I just realized Senate... Ah, uh, where do I put a Senate House? If I move that... If I move the Reed Gatherer to there... I'll wait for that to start going. Fish is starting to come in. Okay, we're gonna import fish as well. Pottery is looking okay. Those two types of food looking okay. Yeah. Can I actually shorten this by putting a bridge here? I can. Okay, that's actually gonna help the papyrus collection. Then I can move this temple to Osiris. I suppose I could put a senate house in the middle, but that's not really what I want to do. If I put a temple to Osiris here... ...and clear that... ...then I can put the senate house... ...here. That's touching that road. Ah, this is so difficult. I'll figure it out. It's probably gonna have to go in the middle, isn't it? <laughs> It's gonna go in the middle. It's fine. It's fine. I'll, whatever. It's, uh, it's, I forgot about it. I forgot about it. Uh, never mind. Anyway, I did make this a loop as well, so it's got consistent employment, but, you know, it's fine. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's just keep on going. Let's get these houses evolved. They're already up to spacious homesteads. They just need beer. Beer will be coming in soon enough. These two houses on the end will also evolve. Um, just not as much. Yeah. Let's just, uh, just... Get those evolved as well. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so I've done some rearranging, and I know I don't need a zoo here, but what kind of final mission would this be if I didn't have a zoo? So I've made a spot for it right there, if we so desire one. And also I'm gonna go ahead and set this to storing some straw. Because I know a zoo does need straw. Meanwhile, we can actually get some common manners here if we just got some statues going. So let's go ahead and put a row of these statues on... Oh, Reed Gatherer on the back. And I probably will not build a statue there because I don't want to block the Reed Gatherers. So let's do the same thing on the other side. And we're gonna line this up so it's the same. And just do another row of these dudes like that we've got six of them six and we can have a little bit of gardens right there i just like a touch of gardens here and there not big massive of oh, massive oh, masses of gardens <laughs> okay so there we go these are now common manners and they need mortuaries which i can now place did i forget to make room for a mortuary oh yes uh what i need to do is i need to move these things so first, I can move the firehouse, police station, and architect's post there. Firehouse, architect's post, police station. And you know, I'm going to double up on the firehouse because things tend to burn down. I'm going to clear that off. And now we can fit the mortuary right here, close by the linen. How are the markets or bazaars doing? stored up on pretty much everything they need. Uh, we are low on fish. Have we been importing any fish? We have received no fish. Did I set it to import? I set it to import. Oh, I set it to import to maintain 1,600. But we are stockpiling fish on the other side. So we actually need it to be 
3,002... No, no, we set it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we need 1,600 above that, so we need it to be 4,000. I forgot, I forgot. I said it to import the amount we wanted here, but I'm stockpiling fish on this side. So I completely forgot that. Um, and just to make sure this side does stay fished up, I'm gonna put down another fishing wharf there, so we're not importing fish. <laughs> if we buy fish and it ends up there, that, that's uh, the, that's not what we want. That's not what we want. So we're a little short on fish right now. Um, needs a library. Uh, Senate House is not working right now. Uh, we're bringing more beer in, but we do need a library. How is our papyrus stock? Little low. There's also a request, by the way, for reeds. So we probably should just temporarily stockpile reeds. Have we been export? We have actually been exporting reeds, right? Um, we haven't actually sold any. You know, I probably should set up a place where we could stockpile reeds. I just, like, had a storage yard right here. What was that? I just skipped something. A request for grain and... Oh, the, the reeds. Okay. The grain, however, that's not a problem. Dispatch that. I can set this to holding any surplus reeds, because we should actually get quite a lot of extra reeds from this side, right? Because we've only got two papyrus makers with one reed gatherer. Yeah, so there should be plenty of room for extra reeds. We could stockpile that there in case of further requests. And now we do need a library, which I think we should be able to support by putting it down right there. And that does cost papyrus, by the way, to put down a library. How's the pyramids looking? Oh, we're doing the water leveling here. That's good. Employees needed. That's not so great. But I guess we could just bring in more people by doing that, you know? High taxes discourage immigration. Are people still upset because of taxes? I don't know why they're suddenly upset, but we'll drop taxes. That's fine. Uh, as these houses evolve, our tax income will go up anyway. Senate house is working. Library is down. Just need this... Um, to be delivered here. And that should start evolving these houses going up. Need a second type of luxury good. Right. Um, ah, right. That means we need to import gems, which is a water trade route. No, it's a land trade route. Either one. Baki. Okay, so we just need to import gems and start producing some luxury goods. So I can set that to fill there. I can set this to fill up to gems. We can accept just a little bit there. Set this to importing gems. Just a little bit. And have a single jeweler. There. And that will actually get us our second type of luxury good. Is that immediately work <laughs> that Im that totally immediately works that that yeah there we go um is this a desirability issue yeah it is uh so if i so wanted to put a zoo there that would be a problem if i did that but for now if i just did that would that be enough i just kind of want to test is that in range not quite if I just garden this up, does that work? Does that work for you? Uh, not quite. I, I do actually have some desirability issues. If I put that there, I know that blocks that guy. Is that gonna evolve? This still... Okay, come on. Just need a little bit. If I put like a row of gardens right here. Will that... So we've got four palatial estates. A little bit of a desirability issue there. Maybe if I move this physician to there, and instead I had a large statue right there. And I will have it, let's say. Yes, okay. So just a bit of desirability there. You know, if we wanted a zoo, we'll need to maybe not have it there. <laughs> Come on, there we go, there we go. 
And do we get six palatial estates? There we go, six palatial estates. That's gonna boost up our tax income quite a bit. The people, people are pleased with me. Okay, we lowered taxes, but we're now taxing the rich. So there we go, six palatial estates. Each one of these holds 200 people. So that's gonna be 1,200 people eventually when they move in. Um, but we still need at least one more housing block, I think, to, to get to our target population. But this is uh, it's a good achievement, isn't it? Uh, the pinnacle of Egyptian society. This is... St we're still at ground level of this massive pyramid. You know, we've got so much time to spare. I mean, I don't know if we could speed this up at all. I mean, just bring in more people, put down more construction stuff, I guess. This pyramid's about halfway up, though. But yeah, we... Uh, maybe another block of palatial estates. I don't know, let me just keep that going. I don't, I don't know. Fish is coming in at least. <laughs> I bet we imported some onto this side. And ah, storage yards can now do that. We can stop stockpiling that. You know, were we exporting reeds? You know, let's yeah, let, let's make sure we're not exporting reeds anymore, and just let that stockpile. Okay, but I'm very happy with this. We'll we'll clean this up uh, in a bit, but ah, six palatial estates. That should solve our money issues as well with tax income. All right, guys, so everything is going along quite nicely here, and the monuments are well on the way. And at this point, you know, um, things, things, I think I just have to speed the game up, right? I have to speed the game up. I mean, employment is fine. We have 84 unemployed workforce, some instability here for pottery, but that will solve itself pretty soon since I've doubled our pottery production. And we've got palatial estates, which I will do some cleanup as well, but I think at this point I just, uh... Oh, a new trade route to Wast can be opened. Uh, let's just have a quick look at that. Wast is up here, right? No, it's not. It's down here. Um, they just sell clay, pottery, plain stone, limestone, granite, copper. Okay, we don't really need any of that. I think I just speed up the game and go through it, right? Please predict- and, and whenever something happens, I just pause and deal with it. Let the game run. You know, I could boost population by placing down some houses here. Uh, is this a good idea? Yeah, let's just do that. Some instability here. Is this a water carrier problem? Yeah, you know, so we could stabilize that by doing that. No problem. Bring in more people. And I kind of want to use up some of this grain here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reform some stuff here. Let me go hunting lodge. What's this look like? Move the hunting lodge there. Clear off that one. Have a road extend out this way. And roadblock that. There'll be no inundation at all. Okay, let's just check the gods. Uh, Pata is displeased. Osiris is resentful. So, you know, Osiris, have a festival. And I'm just gonna let the game run at this speed so that the monuments don't take too long. Right? That, that seems like a decent idea. I'm gonna have a roadblock right. There's a lavish festival. You know, we can hold a festival for Ptah as well. Yeah, there we go. Just to make sure we avoid some curses. Uh, fear next in no flood, that's fine. Put down some houses there. And you know, I'm gonna just have like a bunch of work camps set up right here. So that we can, because this is not connected to the farmland there, it's connected to the farmland here, which is not so important. But these work camps are just gonna speed things along here, and we're gonna make sure we use up as much employment as possible. And then we just... flames. Okay, flames. Oh, maybe I should slow things down a little bit, you know? Maybe, maybe just a little bit. <laughs> but I do want to, um... Actually, that should be fine, yeah. Let's, uh, just try... Not have that completely burned down, shall we? Okay, there we go, okay. You can go there, you can go there. Yeah. There. Done. And the mausoleum is finally complete! Look, speeding through does get things done! The mausoleum is finished, look at that! Oh, there was a request right there. Famine. 3,100 fish. Nine months to comply. We can send that off right now. Dispatch goods. Good. Um... Yeah, so we're gonna have to start restocking fish there, which should come in relatively quickly, right? 
Though we are importing fish, which is a bit of a problem. But with these extra work camps, construction on this should go a little bit faster. Let's speed things up again. How's our employment? No employment problems. So yeah, that's going to speed things up. These can all focus on monument construction because these farms... Ah, oh, well, we, we don't really need the food. Um, and if we need more people... I don't know, how's things looking over on this fishbone lot? I think it's fine. So yeah, we're just going to be speeding through. There we go, leveling all of that. This pyramid's coming along quite nicely. Basically as fast as it can be. Um... <laughs> This is just going to take so long. Uh, oh, be, due to diplomatic activity, Kadesh can now be opened. Kadesh is up here. Oh, and they sell ivory. So if I open this, I could technically not produce luxury goods. But you know, I think I will just continue producing luxury goods because it'll save me money in the long run. And I'm gonna set this here to accepting. What, where's luxury goods? Because looking at the monument tab, we do have some things that we do need to stockpile. So I could start stockpiling some of that. And what's this? Because of the fish I sent, 5,300 bricks, but I don't have room for it. Okay, well, thinking about it, do I still need sandstone? I don't think I need sandstone, so let's turn that off and just have some storage yards here. All set to accepting bricks. Right? That way, if any gifts come in, we'll just have it ready to go. Yeah, this is gonna be great. There we go. So, all right. We're just gonna keep on going at high speed to try and get this monument done. Thank you for the bricks. There we go. That's nice, looking good. Maybe I need some more construction guilds, because this this is going to take a while. This, look, at, look at this circle of flattened stone expanding. It's, it looks nice, it looks nice. Employees needed. Ah, we need to bring in more people. All right, so I'm just going to figure out how to build a housing block around this grain here. Maybe I'll just stick one right over there. But, you know, prosperity is already at 100, so I don't really need to care about that too much. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just keep on going. And there we go, a bunch of construction guilds. How are the gods doing? Probably unhappy. Osiris is very unhappy. You know, Osiris, 1,800 beer for a grand festival? Ah, oh, fine. Just have a lavish festival to Osiris. Uh, yeah, Osiris and Ptah and basically they're all unhappy. Uh, we're, we're gonna solve that soon. I've got this housing area here uh, with more construction guilds and I do need a few more people because of all the construction guilds. I'm just gonna tell this to buy beer. We've brought in a little bit of beer there. Now, let's go for shrines. Osiris, um, let's go Osiris, Osiris. And I'm just gonna start squeezing these in all over the place. There, and then we're gonna go Pata, Pata, Pata. And then we'll throw in a few Ra Shrines as well. There we go. That should help a little bit. Now this, uh, with all these new construction guilds, look how quickly we can just set everything up. And all of these work camps over there. We're gonna go as fast as we can here. So if I just speed this along, we can... I think we can almost cover the whole of the base of this pyramid. And as we go up, uh, it's gonna be easier. There's a lavish festival. I don't know if... Uh, Oh, we can avoid the curse. Oh, fantastic. You know, Pata, you're probably feeling a little left out as well. There we go. How's our income from tax? 15,000. People love me. You know, I don't need... I'm not going to risk increasing tax. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, so we are starting to stockpile some luxury goods here. Why is so much other stuff here? That's strange. Why, why is there straw and pottery in this? I, I really don't know. But anyway... For inundation, that's fine. As long as things don't burn down or collapse at any point, I think we're gonna be fine. We do really just have to speed things along. But there we go. Last little bit. I want to see this. I want to see this. Once we get this down, all the construction guild people are gonna come here, set up in the next layer. Here we go. Do they really have to walk all the way around there? They do. You know, maybe they don't have to do that if I just connect that road there and then roadblock here so they can just walk there. 
Oh, we don't quite cover the whole layer, but we do cover quite a lot of it. <laughs> How quickly are we using up those bricks? We got another gift of bricks and look at that. We, we've just used up all the bricks so quickly. So those gifts of bricks really are important. There's 2,000 fish being requested. So let's, let's go send that off. 2,000 fish, dispatch, yep. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Parts of the city are isolated? What, what happened? Oh, this was built? Does that isolate the city somehow? Where? How? Wait. The ferry landing is there. We can still walk. Wait. I... I don't understand what's being blocked off. Um, hmm. I, th I think it's fine. Let's see if anything despawns. No? I guess, I guess it's okay, right? Did we give all the fish from here? Wow, we gave all the fish from there. It's fine. Um, yeah, it says parts of the city are isolated from the kingdom. Road. No? <laughs> um, hmm. That's a little awkward. Uh, how could I potentially solve this problem? I'm not sure because it shouldn't be happening in the first place. Oh well, well I'll, I'll figure that out. And maybe I do have to delete some buildings or something. I don't know what to delete. It, it's all working as intended and nothing's actually stopped working. So I don't know. Uh, it, it's got something to do with this though. This, this has blocked something. This little extension from uh, the pyramid. Oh well, uh, I guess I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Oh, would you look at that? Military has finally come into this mission. I've got nine months to dispatch troops. Ah, I haven't actually properly set up a small force. W dispatch waterborne troops, a small force, really. Um, I have two right now. I guess I should get that going, yeah? <laughs> I haven't actually set up. I've got two boats, which is actually probably enough. But, you know, we've got nine months. Let's do this a little bit more properly. Um... Let's uh, find a spot where we could use, I think down here, right? Warship War. I can fit three right here. I could fit a fourth one right there. So if I put a house right here, I could then put Warship War one, two, three, four to max out the warship wharves. And just have this road pass by there, go up to there, and firehouse architects first. Oh right, and people do get sick, so we'll stop that from happening too. There we go. Okay, so that should be good. Right? Yeah. So that's going to be the four warship wharves, the, so we actually do have some military to dispatch. Uh, we do have nine months, we'll just be careful. We'll see if we could get another boat, but two boats should actually be fine. It, it's actually fine. Uh, Alright, let's see. Meanwhile, this pyramid is going along quite nicely. We're on the third layer, but we kind of ran out of bricks. We're producing bricks and importing bricks as much as we can. Um, but it is just sort of limited. Uh, we're also a couple thousand short from our target population, so we'll need one more housing block, I think. What do these need? Oh, right, a scribal school. Not gonna support that quite yet. Uh, but I did also do some rearranging here and converted that one house there to another palatial estate. So we've got seven and flames are sweeping... Th what the... The conservatory is a burning ruin. I guess uh, we need to solve that problem, so let's just put one more of those and we'll replace the conservatory. Maybe, maybe the musicians just got really upset. <laughs> but all right, uh, overall this city is looking really, really nice. This industry does look messy, but when we complete the pyramids, most of it doesn't have to be there. 
Are you gonna move into that? Oh, oh, that's actually kind of handy. So I could just shift this road over. Those homeless people unlock all of this. So we can now... Oh, employees need it, really? Short by 16. You know, I guess we could get rid of one work camp. There we go. Unless we have more bricks, we don't need that many. But there we go. Now we're producing a warship, and we should be able to deal with that invasion pretty easily. Yeah. Alright, so I just started producing chariots, and I did send four boats off. We've got this working very nicely, and we're starting to produce chariots, so I might as well just go fort charioteers and just immediately put down six of them. We're kind of at the point where... Uh, we can't really do much wrong, you know? <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and... You know, uh, let's put them here, right? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. Six chariot forts to max that out. So now we have the potential to have a maxed out army. Six chariot forts with the academy there. Uh, to get enough people... Oh, we are a little short, you know? I can just keep getting rid of these to make things fine because we just we don't have the bricks oh we are actually finishing this pyramid oh would you look at that one pyramid's finally completing oh let's speed this up employees needed how many six that's fine i'm, I'm gonna have to go build another housing area we do need twelve thousand people people are getting old as well by the way if we look at this census you see all these people above 50 uh yeah so we're just gonna build another housing block oh victorious soldiers home okay Kingdom rating has risen. All right, so that that's probably going to start happening from now on out. Um, let's just watch this be completed. Ah. And this is another dispatch troops within nine months. An average force, was it? No, it's another small force. So I guess we just swap these over. Dispatch. All right, with a full military, that's going to be easy to deal with. Look at all of these. We're on another layer of this pyramid, but it's it's just gonna take so long. It's so huge. Not to mention we have to do these two other monuments as well. At least the limestone is maintaining very nicely, so each layer of limestone does get completed pretty quick. The bricks a little bit slower. Come on, employees needed how many? It's fine, it's fine. I just want to watch this be completed. We are going at max speed here. Almost. A few more rows. By the way, we are importing a ton of bricks every year. <laughs> Almost done, come on. Yes, finally, two of the three monuments will be complete, and then we can focus on the final remaining monument. And kingdom rating has risen again. And here we go. Masons have completed their finishing touches on the gleaming outer casing of fine limestone, and the brick pyramid is finally done. Oh. That road cannot be there. Two out of three monuments done, but those two put together is basically this, so we're uh, just over halfway. <laughs> we're just over halfway. How many bricks required? Uh, another like 200,000 bricks. Jeez, 200,000 bricks. We're producing bricks and importing, and we're just using it up as much as possible. How much limestone? 1,300, yeah, but I think we can keep up with the limestone. We can't quite keep up with the bricks. We've got 40,000 in the bank, though. Maybe, maybe I, I now build another housing area and just set up another brick industry. We do have a lot of straw on this side, um, which we could use. We could use the straw. Okay, so it's a harvest season here. I put down another housing block here just to bring population up. And as you can see, we were short by 300 people because, well, all this straw is going to start moving. Just wait for this harvest. Look at that. All the straw is going to be moving down. We've boosted up the amount of food we've got. And this straw has a long way to walk through this road, past this crossroads, into this new brick development area. And we're going to get a ton of bricks just started to produce over here so that we could speed this construction along because... Uh, we need so many bricks! Uh, we've also dumped all these shrines here to keep the gods happy. Now, where's, where's all of this? 
Now, do they go to the storage yard first or to the brickworks? You know, I might need more farms just for bricks. How many do you I carry? Have to go clear, I have to go clear 100 each. The city with these goods. Yeah. It'll take all day. We probably should get more farms just for the straw, honestly. Oh, some clay is being delivered down this way to from these clay pits, which is a little awkward. Uh, I didn't quite consider that, but then again, we're not really making money off of selling clay, and this pottery production is just for selling pottery, and money isn't really an issue. Anyway, here we go. All of this brickworks is going to start functioning. We've got plenty of clay pits there to keep all of that going. I assume some clay will come down this way, some clay will go up that way, but we're producing so much it should be fine. And, uh, oh, it looks like Osiris, all the gods are happy for once. We dumped all our money, well, some money, <laughs> into all of this. Chariots are looking nice. Requests for military are still going. It seems like, yeah, we're not producing enough straw to keep the bricks going. Um, oh, some of the, wait, what is this? Poor access to workers. Are we still short? Oh, we're still short by 100 people. Don't worry. All of these houses, there's plenty of room for more people to move in. We're just sort of waiting for the people to trickle in. Shot by 100? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, not to worry, not to worry. Um, how much straw does it take to produce one load of bricks? I actually don't remember, but... Yeah, I think we do still need more straw, though. So, probably, it'll be worth it to just keep expanding farms. I'm not worry too much about irrigation or anything like that. I just, I just need the straw more than anything. And regardless of fertility, uh, it'll produce 100, 100 straw, as far as I understand. I can't quite get through that, so that's fine. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get more straw going, more bricks going. It's looking nice. The faster we make bricks, the better. Yeah, that's gonna be good. We've got plenty of straw here. And some extra clay. Perhaps I could squeeze in more brickworks on this side. And not ruin things too much. And we don't really need these work camps here anymore. So I could clear off the work camps. And fit brickworks instead. There. So now we're producing way more bricks. City needs more workers. How many? 55. That's why. Don't worry. It said short by 300 for a while. Everything's fine. Looking good. I remember to tax these new housing blocks, right? Yeah, might as well. Tax income's always good. Our population should be hitting our target as well, which is 12,000, which I'm pretty sure we do have room for. Yeah, we've got... We've got plenty of room left over here. So we'll be hitting our target population as well. After that, it's just culture. So after all of this industry is set up and running at full speed, we'll just focus on building up culture, which I guess uh, there is some spare straw here. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and drop a zoo because I can. Uh, right there. And that takes 30 workers. And some straw will be delivered over, I think. But yeah, we're gonna get a zoo. <laughs> can we can we build multiple zoos? I don't know. We can build multiple zoos, but I'm just gonna have one zoo for now. Uh, which, this row of houses will be the only row of houses that will have a zoo. Oh, they take uh, game meat as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, there we go. Game meat and straw. That's a perfect spot for a zoo. We could just spam this road here with zoos as well if we so desire. Have a zoo road, but there we go. We've got exotic animals from near and far, delighting the crowds of the citizens at the zoo. And this is still on the way. Oh, th these tiles have gone. These tiles disappear once in a while. Just rotate the map and they come back. Look at that. All right. Bricks are starting to be produced here. I probably have way too many storage yards. Are these all just poor access to workers or is it... I probably should just roadblock right here to solve that. Okay. okay. More bricks being produced. Flames are spreading over there, apparently. Is anyone gonna put that out? No. That's fine. Let's just make sure it doesn't spread. Okay. Long way more to go, and we will keep on going. Alright guys, it's been a while, and now uh, Abu has been saved from our enemies, but now the Egyptian army is engaged in combat at the distant city of Baki. Now, this is somewhat different, and it is land troops, I think. So it's a good thing. It's a small force. Um, 
So these are land troops. I guess I'll just send, as usual, four of them. We've got full charioteers at this point. So yeah, dispatch now. Off you go. Uh, we have been producing tons of bricks here and I've just been doing silly things of decorating and you know, I'm gonna plaza up the pyramids. Plazaing up the pyramids, look at that. Just plaza everything. Just everything. Bam. Just no consideration for what's supposed to go where. Can we plaza here? Yeah, plaza. Can I slowly make my way through the middle of this? I think so. Because it should have neutral desirability from the pyramids, right? Just plaza there, plaza there, yeah. That looks good, that looks good, yep. Yeah. So this is very slowly converging here. Let's speed up the game. <laughs> so you can plaza this up. I, I want these pyramids to look good. So let's, there we go, there we go. Oh, now it looks good. Look at that, wow, okay. Um, looks fancy. I think I did actually plaza up everything. By the way, gardens do block walkers. So make sure you have little gaps like, uh, um, where did I put one? Like here, that's a plaza, not a garden. Uh, so people can actually walk through there if they so desire. But this is looking really good. We have uh, gone on to another layer here. Uh, limestone is keeping up. Bricks are... Did we import bricks into these storage yards? I think so. But we're producing all these bricks down here as well. It seems like we can just accept more bricks here. Oh. This is... I mean, look, we're starting to produce the things we need for the final... Thing here we've got the weapons uh, I should probably start importing more linen I imported more luxury goods papyrus I did also boost papyrus production over on this side just because we could I hooked up this road to this road because we don't need all those storage yards for limestone anymore um, but yeah looking at this we are short by 105 employees because I think of the aging population so I think I can start just cutting back on things. You know, maybe I don't need this many brickworks here. You know, cut back on some of those. What else can I slowly get rid of? You know, I, I don't need so much stuff, jeez. I can stop producing weapons. I can cut back on wood production. You know, that, that'll that solve the problem. I don't really want to increase my population anymore because... Um, it's just gonna make hitting the culture targets harder. So, you know, I'm just gonna do that and slowly cut back on things. Yeah, and it doesn't even look, are we even halfway through this? I mean, we still need 128,000 bricks and 1,096 blocks of limestone. I feel like we're halfway through. Each layer is slightly smaller than the last. You know, but yeah, we're really in no rush to do things. Um, but at least the pyramids look pretty now. That's good. Employees need it. Oh, we actually got it back to where it should be. Oh, fantastic. Hey, would you look at that? Rewarity is getting a bit demanding. 2,400 beer in two months. You know, that's a little bit of a harsh request, which we can immediately dispatch. But still, that's kind of a little bit annoying. <laughs> We're just going to produce way more beer here. Look, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We've got so much beer going around. We're producing a lot more than we need. I'm going to start importing linen as well. I put a storage yard here for linen so we can start putting down some mortuaries over on this side. Get rid of a house there and a construction guild there. We're... Well, we also, um... Okay. More military victories. Do we have any more requests? No, no, no. Uh, finishing off another layer of the pyramid there. I also cleaned up this, so we are no longer connecting this area to these areas. I just moved the woodcutters over. And now you can see we're gonna have a bit more of a stable pottery supply. I also turned off pottery exports, by the way, because as, uh... Uh, as our population, I don't want to grow our population anymore. I'd rather just cut back on uh, industries. So I'm gonna, you know, stop exporting so much. You know, just uh, why are we not storing? Yeah, there's still more space to store stuff. I'm waiting for the pottery supply to sort of restabilize here because uh, we ran out of pottery over on this side. I think it's fine again, so we can just start exporting pottery again now that I've uh, stabilized. There we go. Export all you can. Because we're only selling it by the water trade route. By the way, a long time ago, Baki closed as a trade route and I didn't even notice. <laughs> uh, as we were speeding through the game. So we actually stopped importing gems. So I, I didn't notice because these didn't devolve. Because we don't actually need 
gem production because we opened up a trade route with Mycenae, which also sells wine as a luxury good and is also a land trade route. So I guess we don't need that anymore. Yeah, and we're just going to keep importing luxury goods to maintain how much we need. Here comes another spread of construction guild people, which I think we now have too many construction guilds. I'm just going to have a quick look here. People idolize me as a god, which is good. Do we have enough construction guild people to cover the whole layer? I think we do, yeah. And then we're just going to have all the things. Kingdom standing climbs, okay. What is our kingdom rating? 61. I do have some personal savings. But we're a little short on... Brick construction guild? By one, I think. It's okay, the next layer uh, will have enough construction guilds. A new trade route, Baki, can now be opened. Oh, Baki, just as I mentioned it, Baki reopens. Um, and we don't need it, it's fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, that's employees needed, how many? 13, yeah, it's fine. All right, another layer of the pyramid will be done soon enough. All these bricks, we do have a nice stockpile of bricks here in case we ever run out up here, which we may not be running out up here. We actually have plenty of bricks as well, so I think it's fine, yeah. If anything, we just need more work camps. Now, as our pyramid does get completed, I will cut back on uh, industries, which will then can be used for employment for culture. And we're just hovering just below our target population here, so I'm not too concerned about that. You know, a few of these houses could be evolved. If I just squeeze in a few houses like that, we'll actually hit our target population, no problem. You know, just, yeah, just squeeze in a house here and there. It'll be fine. Yeah, like, like that. that. That should actually make us hit our target population. Yeah, good. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, so the requests are still coming in. 3,100 reads. Do I have that stockpiled at all? Not quite, actually. I do need to, to keep that going. Don't I have a... I do have a pretty big stockpile here. Oh, but I kind of ran out of space to store it. I, I need to make more room for it. Okay, um, that's fine. I guess I can figure that out later. What, what's supposed to be in here? Oh, gems, right. We're no longer importing gems. Let's just fill that up so we can actually stop the reeds here. Uh, meanwhile, we are a little short on employees and I think I can start cutting back on military stuff. So we don't need to be producing chariots anymore. And we don't need a military academy anymore. We've got a full complement of everything. So that's gonna help free up some some people and as we can start turning off industries or dis well removing industries as this pyramid gets closer to completion how far along are we we need another 73,000 bricks yeah it's still quite a ways to go i would say we're about halfway through i think it does actually say here yeah we're halfway through right there I'm just waiting for it to, to finish but besides that we're hit all of our other requirements population prosperity uh, kingdom. I do have savings if I want to boost that up. Uh, and then as we demolish all of these brick industries, we can turn it into people working for culture. All right. Besides that, everything's looking good. Seven palatial estates. A few rows of houses here and there. I actually like doing this little row of houses. You don't, you don't need to put too much effort into them. And it's, it's not very straining on the system. We have this as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a request for grain as well? Oh, I'll dispatch that. Um, oh, we don't have... Oh. There was all <laughs> a request for grain at the same time. That's fine. And Bast is happy I threw a festival and she threw a festival for everyone else because I just built some temples to keep, keep the gods happy, you know? All right, so we're going to keep on going and I'll update you again once this is maybe 75% complete. All right, so things are still going on here. Gift from a neighbor, neighbor 6,300 bricks because I sent off a bunch of papyrus. So yeah, okay, sure. Thank you for the bricks. And also pottery is a little low on this side and that grain request took all the grain out of this side as well. So I put more farms down and an extra work camp just because. But uh, because pottery is being a little difficult to manage, I think it's because we're going over here and grabbing pottery and it's not enough. I'm gonna set up a tiny little industry right here. Uh, just one clay pit and two pottery workshops there. Population has dropped a little bit, but you know, as pottery stabilizes, 
population will go back up. How's that? Oh, we are shot by 253 people. <laughs> uh, that's not so good. So, you know, since we did just get a brick request, I'm just gonna start cutting back on things here. There we go. Cut back on all of that. We'll, we'll keep some bricks coming. What else can we cut back on? Because I don't really want to... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to increase my population. Oh, I can get rid of a lot of these construction guilds now that the pyramid is actually higher. We don't need that many, so let's uh, clear off some of those. And over on this side, I guess we can keep all those working, yeah. Well, we are stockpiling the reeds there. And you know, how is it? Still shot by 140. Probably cut back on bricks here, right? Oh, right, look, look at all these clay pits just sort of hanging out. So yeah, let, let's stop producing so many bricks over on this side. Yeah, that looks good. Cut back a work camp there as well, sure. And that's looking a little bit better. We've got the carpenters guilds there. We've cut back on all of this. How much is this? 10 people? You know, I'll leave, I'll leave the recruiter. I'll leave the recruiter. That's fine. How is it now? Shot by 53 employees? Okay, once these people move back in, things will be fine again. But as people get old, that's the problem. Look at this census. Everyone over 50 does not work. We have to keep that in mind. And look at that. There's like a 74-year-old right there. Not working. These 51-year-olds here are not working. So to bring more people in, I could supply beer to this area, I suppose. Uh, which is something I could do. Which I might do. I might do. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, so there's just been a bout of famine across the country. We've given out uh, game meat, we've given out fish, we've given out grain, and they're all giving us gifts of limestone, and now of beer, which I'm going to accept because beer is, is nice to have. Um, there we go, there's the... Filled with all the 64, okay, there we go. We've, we've accepted limestone, and we've probably maxed out some beer holding here. And a gift of sandstone, really? Um, you know, they, they kind of get upset if I don't make room for the gifts, so... Okay, that's fine then. I'm just gonna accept it, sure. Okay. I don't know where else it put sandstone. Or did it just put it there? Oh, that's fine, okay. Oh, we, we, we just took some sandstone. Meanwhile, I have brought beer over this side, so if we are short on pl people, like, we are short on 77, it's, it's because of the aging population. It's just our, our city health is too, too much. So, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this one area on the left here get some beer. And, uh, could I, could I get a courthouse down? You know, I probably could. So let's just put down, we'll shift this tax collector. So I can put this here. And then I put down the courthouse right here to evolve these houses further. And then we get some beer in. There we go. And blessing from Osiris. This this should solve some of our problems. Food looking stable. Wait, wait, wait. Why did... Why did these houses evolve? I just told this bazaar to buy beer. Why are these... What? I, I... I don't understand. Why did these houses evolve? I mean, this bizarre lady needs to walk to this granary, so maybe these houses on the front row would evolve, but these back row ones? How did they get beer? Um... Because these are not... They're not buying... What? Did they even take beer out of the storage yards? I don't think so. Okay, that, that's a little confusing. Um, hmm. But we'll just, we'll just... We'll just let them... I mean, I'm pretty sure none of these bazaars are currently buying beer. Nope. We've only got three bazaars on this area. Nope. Nope. No idea. Now they're devolving again because they shouldn't have beer. <laughs> Alright, that, that's gonna have a lot of these people kicked out, but there's some extra room in these houses if you guys want to move in there. Alright, um, we're just gonna keep on going. This pyramid's looking taller. 
it's looking it's looking good. We do need 24,000 bricks. How many bricks do we have in storage right now? Uh, we have oh, we have 24,000. Really, we have enough bricks. Well, all right, that means we can stop importing bricks and we can basically shut down the brick industry. So let, let me just, um, where, where's the bricks? It's up here. Um, let's just, industry is off. That's gonna solve our employment problem. We have enough bricks to finish the pyramid. Ah, fantastic. How about limestone? How much do we need here? Uh, 432, which I don't think we have. But we're continuing to import as it goes along. Okay. So we actually have enough bricks for everything. All right, that's, that's, that's amazing. We can just, just leave it as is. Okay, so now, since that pyramid is getting closer to completion, I need to start cutting back on industries and converting those employees into culture. So that's what we're going to be working on next. Oh, would you look at that? A gift of bricks. I guess we could accept it, you know? We already have enough bricks for everything, but, you know, that's just gonna fill up storage yards with more bricks. So there's just a few, like, as we as we get to the top of this, you know, I've been cutting back on industries, putting in more juggler booths and stuff like that, squeezing some in there, squeezing some in here, getting extra juggler booths going here and that. Maybe this is not such a great idea, you know, because this is sort of messing up the pathing of stuff. Yeah, this is probably a terrible idea. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Let's just not do that. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that alone. Uh, but yeah, looking at our culture, it is 40, half of where it needs to be. Uh, but population, we are short on people. So it's just, you know, I think I do have to just sort of get rid of these warship wolves. Because these are 15 people each. And my population is getting rather old. I'd rather not put in more... Uh, housing blocks because that's actually why do these keep getting beer? I don't understand. I'd rather not put in more housing blocks because that's going to uh, Mess up like the more people you bring in the more culture you need and That's just sort of an endless loop Come on, are they gonna finish this? Come on finish this layer. There we go a couple of bits of limestone all right, this this is it's getting there. It's getting there. How many how many percentage is it done? Sixty five percent complete. So yeah, um, maybe I just wait until that's completely done before I start pushing up culture. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, get, getting that culture rating up is always a tricky thing to do, especially when its requirement is eighty. That's so high. That is really high. So we're gonna try figure that out. Okay, guys, this is a milestone for this pyramid. No more bricks are required. I'm over 300,000k Deban in the bank as well. But since we don't need bricks anymore, I can now cut back on those brick construction guilds completely. And, uh, yeah, we don't need any more bricks. So I could just demolish all of this. I don't need that anymore. I need the people, that's why. I do need the people. I did give this area beer, but it's not very stable, you know. Um, it's sort of on-off beer, but, uh, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I don't need any of this. These do take six people each, which I could definitely use. Um, did I lose a warship in a military request? I did. Oh, well, I guess I don't need that anymore. That's 15 people. I don't need so much fish being fished here anymore. You can go to the bottom of the river. Uh, what else can we cut back on? I've turned off all exports, so you know, I don't actually need Woodcutter's Lodge or a stockpile of wood, so that's fine. Let's clear that off, we don't need two firehouses there. Um, do I need this area at all? No, I don't. Goodbye. That's gonna help a little bit. We can just not have this at all. There we go. Nice and clear. Okay, um, what else? What else? That gives us 6% unemployment. That's actually good. 6% is 177. You know, I, I feel like we need more than that. I, I feel like we do need more than that. Uh, but with basically only two deliveries needing to be made here, I don't need so many work camps, do I? I'm gonna leave the two there, but I don't need three here. I think one is coming up this side here. Let's let that get delivered. Get rid of that. Okay. 
Uh, we don't need so many stonemason guilds anymore either. I think we only need two. I think we only need two. Okay, so all of this is looking quite good. Um, I have stopped all of my exports, so I don't think I need this industry here at all, do I? Yeah, I don't. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. Do I need this at all? I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Just for now. I don't need two carpenters guilds. Actually, how many more layers do we need? <laughs> because there's 400 units of wood stockpiled in these carpenters guilds. Um, well, I think we have enough wood there. If we need more, I'll just build more. Okay, so we've been cutting back as much as we can. Keeping our population just around 12,000. 9% unemployment, okay. So with that 9% unemployment, we can start putting things into um, entertainment and culture blocks. All right, so we do need jugglers, we do need dentists, we do need mortuaries. I have preemptively prepared mortuary access here, so I can just start doing things like this to provide mortuary access uh, because I import linen into there. Look at that. So we can start doing that and just try boost up, uh, boost up our culture as this finishes the last few layers. All right, we're almost there. Okay, so we've been struggling stabilizing our city actually, like a little bit of papyrus shortage and beer shortage here because we actually started using up a lot, a, way too much beer here. So I actually started importing beer from Rewarti. It's a new year, so we haven't seen any of that, but importing beer should solve that and also put down a bunch more breweries here to try and keep that going. But we are now on the final tiny layer here of limestone and I can just slowly clear this off. I've also been providing some scribal schools here and there to try and boost up my culture when it starts requiring it. It's asking for jugglers right now. I never got around to getting those jugglers working but uh, all right let's let's get this complete shall we? Come on. Where's the delivery of limestone? Should be coming along any second here. Yeah? Okay there's one, there's two. This is the final two loads of limestone. Finally, finally the monuments are complete. Just a tiny bit, look at that. And there we go. And they're gonna start smoothing it out. Yes. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? We finally did it. And there's a request for fish, you know, and the city is under attack. Okay, we can deal with both of those. Dispatch waterborne troops. Okay, first you have fish. And what board troops? Yeah, dispatch that. Ah, the monument is finally completing. Look at all of these stonemasons crawling on over. We can clear off any remaining storage of these extra work camps and these collections of limestone. We don't need that at all. We can clear this off. Do we even need a dock anymore? I don't think we need a dock. Don't worry about these people moving out. It happens. As long as we're above 12,000 population, it's fine. Um, oh, we do need some of this working here. Yeah. But I don't think we need a dock anymore. I'll just double check that before I destroy it. But we don't need these carpenters guilds. There we go. Ah. And they're just cleaning off the edges there. And we can get rid of those. Get some unemployment to focus on our culture rating after this and there we go speeding this along and it looks brilliant victoria soldiers home i hope there's no more gifts for bricks and stuff i am going to refuse them if they <laughs> if there are more gifts all right but now we can focus on bringing our culture up and this game you can't just skip and it does ask for scribal schools later, but if it asks for jugglers, you gotta give them jugglers. So we can now start putting down juggler schools and booths wherever we can. So fit them. Money still seems to be going up, which is good. Thanks to these seven palatial estates, I'm thinking. Uh, we probably don't need that many juggler schools. Yeah, let's get that down first. This is looking good. And over here is where I would put another cultural district just a nice big loop right here touching these houses over there and with plenty of firehouses and architects posts to make sure nothing burns down and more 
juggler schools. I think we need four of these. And then we can also put down a conservatory. And then just have a bunch of... Bandstands and boots, yeah. This should help with our culture rating. Bandstand. There, there, and there. Oh, made these roads too long. And boots. Okay. That should help with that. How's this pyramid looking? Still going. It uh, Just cleaning up the outer casing is taking forever as well, but there's... 45 culture. We need to get more musicians into the city. Oh, it's 55. Still asking for jugglers. We need so many jugglers. Um, you know, I could probably, I could probably make this road here work for my in my favor as well. Uh, let's get some of those down. Some of these down. Okay. Get some houses there as well. And then just put a bunch of booths along this road. With a couple juggler schools to make sure it keeps running. Okay, that should help, right? That's a bunch more jugglers. Now mortuary access. Okay, so we do need to get some things going here. Uh, mortuary access shouldn't be too difficult. I can just set this accepting... Uh, we don't need this accepting bricks anymore. Accepting more linen, which will allow me to just import more linen. So let's import another... Just import like as much as we can fit actually. If there's room in a storage yard for linen, we're gonna put that down there. So we can squeeze a mortuary there. We're gonna squeeze a mortuary over here as well. Um, which I think I do, because linen's there, I do need to destroy one house, unfortunately. Which means this house has to go. Sorry about that. Uh, a request for grain? Okay. Mortuary can go there. Alright, we'll see how many places we can get mortuary access. You guys can have grain, there we go. This is still going? Come on, I, I want to see the end of this pyramid. Ah, it's because we only have two stonemasons. Employees needed. Nothing serious yet. With a uh, culture at 60. Okay, culture at 60. Asking for musicians. All right, that's not so bad. We've got lots of jugglers. To fit more musicians, we could use this road down here. Uh, let's just put... Yeah, we can fit juggler school and a conservatory here. And then fit a few bandstands. Right? We can just do this. That should work. And to try and make sure nothing burns down. Firehouses, please. All these intersections are not good for safety, but I understand. Uh, Kingdom standing climbs. Can it climb any higher? No, it's 100. All right. So there we go. Four more bandstands. Get the musicians going. Does that help? Scribal schools. Okay, scribal schools. We can always just spam them up here, actually. Because we have a lot of room for scribal schools. So let's try that. And plenty of papyrus, so... Does that help? 65. Dancers? Now it's asking for dancers. Alright, so basically we're, we're just gonna keep doing that until this is finished. But I think, uh, yeah, we're gonna come back when this pyramid is done. So you don't have to watch the whole thing, because this is really taking a long time. And yeah, a request for reads. You know, maybe I just won't fulfill it. Just for fun. Okay, guys, this pyramid is almost complete. Look at that, another couple of rows. And I've been spamming a lot of this around. And also to solve our employment problem, you know what I did? Um, I, I just built up a, a slum block. Because it's not going to hit our prosperity. A slum block. It, it boosts our population at no cost. And our culture rating is 65. We need more, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just uh, watch this be completed. You know, I've, I've also been spamming scribal schools and libraries, which I'm not sure if uh, we're keeping up with everything here. You know, I probably should make a little bit of a gap there for the reed guys to get out there. The reed guys are actually trapped. <laughs> Never mind. 
Let's watch this complete, please. Ah, oh, just, just get around. Just go all the way around. This massive pyramid of... I think this was 200,000? 200, 200,000 bricks? And the brick pyramid is finished. Oh, great Pharaoh Gamerzak. 24. Masons have completed their finishing touches on the gleaming outer casing of fine limestone and the brick pyramid is finally done. And the last finishing touch is a plaza. Okay. Now at this point, I kind of just want to win. <laughs> so, you know, um, I don't think we're actually keeping up with all of our papyrus demands over on that side. Are we actually... We're not keeping up with papyrus demands on this side. Can we import papyrus? Is papyrus available for import? You know, let's import it. Let's let's import papyrus. Is that a, a land trade route? Because that, that'll be handy. Because I think we need more papyrus. Yeah, I think it's a land trade route. Our only water trade route is Abu, I think. Okay, so now we just need libraries and everything going. You know, let's let's try open up a gap there. So that I can put down another library here. Come on, try and get all of this working. Let's watch that become functional. Is that enough libraries? 70? I'm still asking for more libraries. Libraries are so expensive. I mean, just in terms of trying to get the, the, the papyrus to keep it running. That's, um, hmm, because we're kind of out of, actually there's some reeds. Oh no, we can't really, we're kind of out of reeds actually. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem. But we could produce a bit more papyrus down here. So let's just try boost up some papyrus production on this side at least. I don't know if we're going to have any surplus, but if we start importing papyrus, that should keep things going a little bit, right? Yeah, hopefully. Are you selling us papyrus? Did we buy any? I don't know. Okay, let's just try and, and finish this mission, all right? Just, just a bit more. We're so close. Why did, why did we lose culture? Damn it! Something's gone wrong. Mortuary access? I don't know. We're gonna solve that. Ah. Okay, guys, guys, I think I finally did it. I spammed all of these libraries. I'm importing papyrus. I have importing linen here to fill that single mortuary, that very effective mortuary over on this side. That's very effective, actually. We have all these bandstands, jugglers, schools, pavilions, booths, libraries and scribal schools scattered, senate houses for the pottery workshops, mortuaries, and all of this stuff. And I kicked out some people from my city so that we can have above average on library coverage. And we finally hit 80 culture. We're at 83 prosperity. This did go down for a while because we were losing money. And you can see we actually lost a bit of money right now. But I paused the game right where all this needs to be. And now, looking at these massive monuments, I can now go to here. And we do... We are actually shot on papyrus. That's actually a pain. But I'm just gonna try and dispatch everything. Uh to try and keep all of this going. Let's dispatch everything. And we should very soon have some papyrus come in. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, there's some. That's 800. We just need another 900. This is not the ideal solution, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to do it. We are literally short 100 papyrus. Did we lose the rating? No, we haven't lost the rating. And there we go. All of that is finished. Mausoleum is complete. Pyramid is complete. Pyramid is complete. And that last 100 papyrus should be enough. Oh, those tiles have disappeared. I'm not going to end up like that. There we go. There we go. And we should. 
No! <laughs> Why? Not enough li to libraries aren't working? Is it because some of these shut down? I don't know. But you know, if we kick people out of the city, they don't need as many libraries. Okay, there we go. There we go, look. Yes! <laughs> ah, there we go. Hetep Senusret, the final mission in the Pharaoh campaign. We've been playing this campaign for six years at this point. Now let's go ahead and proceed. All hail the mighty Pharaoh. Your dynasty is without equal, and Egyptians from now until the end of time will speak your name with the greatest reverence. Ah, we finally did it. Mission was completed in 867 months, but we finished the Pharaoh campaign on very hard difficulty. Maybe not as stable as we wanted it to be, but we did it. Now, let's go ahead and watch the final closing cinematic for Pharaoh. Through five epochs, through countless trials and numberless lifetimes, Egypt has endured. Now, none challenge our authority. Your family's story is the story of Egypt. Thousands worship you as a god. And the dynasty you have forged shall never be forgotten.